Nick, did you know that this episode is brought to you by Ice Shaker? I did not. Ice Shaker is sponsoring BroChat, and they have provided us with the 36-ounce and a 24-ounce ice shakers. Do you have an ice shaker? I, I don't. I think I need one. Dude, why don't you have an ice shaker? Do you know how long you keep stuff cold? It's like you, 10 hours you, you keep drinks cold in this thing. You said that's a 36-ounce? Yeah, so this is good for your intra. It's 36 I ounce. That my intra. That's very valuable. Right. And this is good for your pre-workout. Absolutely. Ice shaker also has food bags. You have, your, have you seen the food bags yet? No, please do show. I'm going to show you the food bag. So right now, these are the shaker bottles. This is a 36 ounce. I just showed you the 24 ounce. They have this little skinny one, which I don't think you could use. But they also have these awesome cooler bags that are waterproof. Uh, So, you know, if you spill anything in there, if you put ice in there and stuff, uh, the water won't leak out. So it's like really high quality stuff. How many meals fit in those? I don't know. It looks like you fit like, you know, like three of these, like three meals. That's perfect. You think you're going to get one? I am absolutely going to get one. Well, if you guys want to get one, use code RBP at uh, iceshaker.com and get 20% off your whole order. Nick, use code RBP, get 20% off your order. I sure will. How's it going? It's good. How are you? How's prep? It's good. It's going good now. Hey, your birthday is today. No, tomorrow. Yeah, but when this is released, it'll be today. Okay, so my birthday is today. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Nick. Thank you. Was I the first one to tell you? <laughs> yeah, actually. <laughs> yeah, sweet. <laughs> um, what are you going to do for your birthday? Are you going to get a cheap meal or no? Are you saving it? I'm saving it for the weekend. That's right. Coming to see I you. Want to, I want to make sure I have it with you, Fuad. What are you going to have for your cheat? Tell me not not five, not uh, Cheesecake Factory, right? We're going to go somewhere else? <laughs> are we going to have Cheesecake Factory? Yeah. I'm going to go there. I'm going to get exactly what you get. That's fine. Let's do it. And if it sucks, it's your fault. It's not, gonna, it's not my fault because I'm going to enjoy it. All right. Are you baked? No, I'm not baked. You're fucking baked, dude. Oh, God. <laughs> what the not fuck, baked. Nick? You know, you're going to talk even less than normal now. No, I only don't talk when Ian and you, you and Ian debate for like an hour. Yeah, that's true. It get, does get out of hand. And then I get quiet because I don't know what to say anymore. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, you don't like the confrontational or shit. You don't like that, that kind of shit. Oh, I like a good debate, but not like a 45-minute one. So Ian and Nick, Ian and uh, Blessing got into it. Yeah, was that for real or no? I think it's for real. I mean, some of the some of the insults going back and forth were pretty fucking hard. It was pretty hard. And then what's his face? I don't even really know this guy, but Divine, whatever. Oh, the classic guy came on, and he's he's like trying to pull the race card. Yeah, it was fucking stupid. But I want to see where did it? Where do you remember what post it was? Um, I think yeah. Bison Tries posted it. I know, but do you remember what? Do you remember? Oh, what? no, I don't know the exact post, but I'm pretty sure Bison Tries posted that. Fuck. It just doesn't, doesn't even make sense. Do you think Blessing is going to be anywhere in the top 10? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I like Blessing. I'm not, I'm not like you guys. No, I, I love, I love Blessing. He's, he's one of my good friends, but realistically, not this year. Oh, wait. Okay, I think I found it. So My man needs a set of wheels on him. For those people who don't know what's going on, this was the post. Uh, so, Buys and Tries posted this yeah. caption, and then he came down. Blessing came in here and wrote... Oh, Ian wrote... I'm not sure who was first. But he, I think he wrote this about Ian first. Probably, yeah. Or maybe not. I don't know. Ian then Ian wrote... Nope, the size is king now. You want to be smaller and pretty. They got classic for you. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, and I got 94 replies, 756 likes. Well, he <laughs> even made a comment on uh, Antoine's post comparing Antoine and... Uh, oh, he, that's, I, that's what it was. Yeah, that's, I think Wait, that's where it started. I think that's where it started. We'll just go on Antoine's page. 
That's right. It was on Antoine's page. And then Ian was like, I'll, I'll do the same thing and post. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's up with the stash? What the fuck? Are you going to classic? Yeah, I'm trying to be the, ne- the next Chris Bumstead. What is happening? <laughs> He's my idol. Dude, you literally look like a serial No, coach. real shit. Real shit. Do you think I can pull off the look too? No. Well, should we all have mustaches? I'll go fucking shave my beard right now. You know, you know, this was actually this was an accidental mustache. I had a couple like scraggly hairs on my beard. Oh no! I had like a beard trimmer with the adjustable lengthener, and I pushed up to my thing, and it went and slid in, went and I'm like, well, <laughs> motherfucker, now it's gone. You know? Why didn't you just go full clean? Why did you leave the stash? Oh, because I look fucking retarded with a clean face. I look like a fat. Oh yeah, that looks a lot better. Because this is better. Great. <laughs> you look like a five o'clock shadow, and then like a little bit of a. Fu Manchu or something. You, you know? literally look like an 80s porn star. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, go get your go get your trimmer. Let's tr- let's do the mustache. No, I'm not doing hey, it. What were we talking about? I saw pictures there. We were talking about you and uh, yeah, we were talking about you and blessing. Did you, you see what I'm doing tomorrow? No, I did. I, yes, I heard he's so, doing a live YouTube. I'm doing a podcast with blessing and Sean Ray. Oh my I'm god! Totally tuning. I'm going behind enemy lines. They're gonna. <laughs> They're going to roast you. You're going to have to fight off both of them. Dude, it will take 15 of those morons to overpower one of me. Bro, Ian, if you struggle, just send me the link, bro. I'll come <laughs> I'm too <Yeah>. quick. <laughs> you guys should have came on my show to do that shit. Well, I wasn't going to. I just took the invite from Tarek. I wasn't planning this. Yeah, I know. I'm just joking. Um, so I was showing people that don't know what's going on. What's going on? So if we go to Antoine's page... That was the start of it, right? Uh, this was the yeah. comparison. Antoine put up this comparison. Blessing. Yeah. Uh, and then Blessing jumped on it right away. And it went all mayhem. Went, it went all fucking chaos from there. Oh, my man got no detail. It was awesome. Yeah. So <laughs> for, those, for those listening on audio, Blessing says, but uh, the picture of Ian and Antoine <laughs> says, this is not even close. You'd smoke this dude. Zero back to details, just size. That's why he thinks bodybuilding is all about size now. And even when it comes to size, you made him look like a child. <laughs> and where's the damn calves on this guy? Okay. He's got me in the 164 calves. replies. Very good. So, all I, have, I don't know. I, I don't see the size argument. Well, this uh, picture is terrible. I mean, obviously, he, he looks better. What than Phil, wait, hold on. What did Phil Viz say? Where? Oh. Uh, Phil says, like I said, I think he outposed you and used his crazy thickness to his advantage. Experience move, fix the few posing tweaks, and you bring Chicago condition, and it'll be interesting to see what the judge is like. So basically, Ian, Phil's saying that you beat him because of your posing. But it's funny because everybody says your posing isn't good. So I don't know which one. I don't know who's right. Some people in the same set of photos say, oh, my God, his posing so bad. What a fucking loser. And then some people say that I beat him because I oppose him. It just doesn't make sense. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> i think antoine's just having fun <laughs> oh yeah me and antoine were having fun with it yeah no i know i know so then I, I go to your page and you posted the same kind of thing of you and antoine but he's got five pics from a different angle and there's five photos here yeah and uh blessings oh wait here's blessing oh my god i can't believe you went and posted your own pics <laughs> the post made you mad <laughs> you gotta admit okay look as much as you as much as you may dislike Blessing, you got to admit, he does make it fun. Uh, Here we go. Uh, fun's a relative term, you know? It makes it fun for the fans watching. How about the yeah. word interesting? Actually, I disagree. I think as just as many fans, just as many fans think we're fucking all whiny, steroid-pumped estrogen losers that arguing on the internet, as many people think it's entertaining. So it's like, the comments are like you guys are fucking losers and half the comments are like this is hilarious you know yeah but ian the way i see it is the people that think bodybuilders are whiny steroid users are those those people are going to be there anyway no i sure but they're so still if in you, the so if you can bring so if you can bring a bunch of people that just like it and are interested then why not oh yeah sure i mean whatever the thing yeah. is this is a thing the blessing and nick rivalry is not real so it's not interesting Right, they treat you guys. Try to do that thing on stage. It's kind of like fun. You guys, everybody knows you like each other. This is a little bit more interesting because everybody you know, knows I'm gonna spank that ass. Though. But it's not only that; it's because they actually dislike each other. <laughs> so it's like it's more. It's real. You know what I oh, mean? Oh, you two really don't like each other. 
oh, I don't, I don't know him to dislike him. I just think he's annoying. Honestly, the thing that makes me the most mad is that he actually thinks he's the same level of bodybuilder as me. So you don't like his body? Do you persona. really think he believes it though? I'm, or, very, or do you think he's just talking, talking it up? Yeah, he's very hard to decipher in that way. Sometimes I think that he just doesn't believe anything he says and he just says what he knows will cause a reaction or get under your skin or cause ruckus in debate. And sometimes I'm like, this motherfucker's this delusional, you know? <laughs> I think I think he thinks he can actually, because he won New York, I think he's got a new sense of confidence. Sure. I think New York, he knew he won the two back. I'm not, listen, I'm not justifying anything he said. I'm saying he thinks yeah. he's going to be in the top 10, which yeah, he should. Sure. Which he should, right? Like nobody, just, nobody, no. nobody, nobody going to the Olympia, nobody going to the Olympia should go in going, hey, I'm oh, going to be, oh, I'm going to be last. Both, both Nick and I would be very disappointed if we're just in the top 10, you know? Fuck yeah. 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 I would be disappointed if I was fifth again. I, I would agree with you. Like, I, because I got, I have to be up. I have to be higher than fifth now. Like, I, I set the standard high for myself. Bro, I've come seventh twice. Were you mad? No. To, like, when you got wait, seventh wait, wait. again, were you, like, mad about it? Uh, like, the first time, I was ecstatic because that was, like, a huge well, Yeah, yeah. But, but, I beat Hunter. It was, uh, the second time, I was, like, I knew it wasn't my best showing of the four of the year, so I thought it was a fair placing. Other than, I honestly, I do think I should have beat Bonnick at that show. I think yeah. Bonnick at the Arnold would have creamed me at that Olympia, but I think the look he brought there, when I actually look back at pictures and video, I don't really see him beating me on many poses. Um, but, I mean, like, okay, yeah. I mean, it would have been nice to be sixth, but I, I think it just motivated me more to come back this year and 100% make sure that that doesn't happen again, you know? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I agree. I um. What was I going to say? So I feel like blessing, blessing keeps calling you number seven. Like it's an insult. I know. <laughs> you're, like, you're like, I'm seventh in the world. He's, yeah. he, has a, he has a place. I'm like, dude, like you need people, to. When I meet someone, they're like, oh, are you a bodybuilder? I'm like, yeah, I'm the seventh in the world. That's that's like my it's thing. A, you know? It's a proud thing. Yeah. It's <laughs> not like a proud a, thing. Like, seventh in the world. And I'm yeah. like, you can't use that as an insult unless you're higher than seven. Like if he was third and he was calling you seven, it would be yeah. worth I it. Also can't say he that hasn't even done an Olympia yet. Well, you can also you also can't say it was a one time fluke because I did it twice. <laughs> <laughs> Not some disparaging comment, you know. Yeah, Pretty Justin, funny. how are you? I'm late. How are you? You are you are late. It's your. I know. I know. It's my I, mo. It's my thing. How are we going to change that? Because there's already because there's already somebody on the team that is already has that late thing. Yeah, guy, guy, man, guy already has that. You can't steal it. Worked out me. perfectly because guy's not here today, so he filled in that role. Yeah, I filled in. Don't yeah. fucking enable him. <laughs> Well, you did it at a weird time. Usually you do it at four. So I train after. Well, it's seven. So wait a minute. Time. So normally we do it wait. an hour earlier. So we did it an hour what later. So that made you more late. Yep. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What time is it where you are? Five, five o'clock. It's, yeah, it's five. So usually so did, I would train after. Train? This time I trained before. Oh. You have you have all day to go train and, and be wow. here you know for five. I don't need to hear your shit, Fuad. He's a busy man. <laughs> No, he's not. Just, no, we, like to train. Just, no, he's not. we like to train at a certain time. I do. I hate training in the day. Do you? I, I, tra I train at 1, 1 p.m. Yeah, that's like the worst time of day to train. Yeah. How do you like, figure? It's great. I hate it. 1 p.m. is awesome. You get two meals no, in, go train. Gym's, gym's empty at that time. That's right. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a 4 p.m. trainer. Yeah, that's because Ian, 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 Ian and Justin want everybody to look at them. That's why. They got to go when it's busy. Yes. Yeah, exactly. I want everyone to see me for in all my glory. Yeah. I'm What's still fat. I'm not ready for that yet. What did you say, Justin? That what good is a pump if no one sees it? <laughs> That's <laughs> why you take a picture, put it on Instagram. Oh, Hello. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you're right. <laughs> anyway, Justin, how are you, man? I haven't seen you in a while. I'm good. My voice is still fucked up from COVID, though. You hear it? Yeah, a little bit. A little scratchy. Yeah, it's been like, been like three weeks straight. I'm still Where'd like, your beard go? I got hot. Why don't you yeah. shave all the way yeah. down? Why don't you go straight down? Like, like uh, I yeah. did. I buzzed it down pretty low, and then now it's just growing back. Yeah, you look a lot younger. Thanks. Do I look younger or do I look older? No, look I look older. Mustache. You, got mustache. you literally look like someone's dad. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yo, I got so much Botox last week. I like, I can barely move my fucking. How's your Botox holding up, Fuad? Like my forehead still. I had some pretty severe lines in my shit. Yeah, this is a, as much as I can get now. I don't know. People have been telling me I look younger, so I think it's working. This one didn't. This one you didn't. Got Botox? 
You see, only half. It's like half, this half worked. I think I should get Botox. You need to go get that touched up. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, Nick, you need to get Botox. Look at that shit. But even when you Botox. even when you don't do that, there's lines there. Get started. Get started. Well, oh, I just did it. You got, it'll mm-hmm. fade. No, it won't. I bet you it's gonna it's gonna be there the whole time. Play doh No, no, it'll fade, bro. It'll fade. Oh, it's gonna be there. Watch. Got it. <laughs> I got <laughs> it. Made a plasticine. He's gonna let it relax again. You know. You said you paid seven hundred bucks for yours. Well, I got like 160 units. God damn. How Where did you get Botox? Is that a lot? Last week? Where, where, where did you get, where'd you get it done? Your forehead? Like, where? Probably a hundred in my forehead and then 60 between my eyes and my crow's feet. See, I didn't get it here and I, I need to get it here. Yeah, I did. Are you guys Look fucking serious now. right now? Why not? Yeah. Now, see, this is smooth. I still have a little down here. So like, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. here I used to be like, you wear all of those lines and now there's just two. So I, I just like get a little more. Yeah. See, yeah, I see I'm training. Why didn't I get rid of all the lines? Yeah. Is this fucking for real right now? What you get Botox too, motherfucker? Botox? Botox? I'm gonna get Botox. What? I want to get Botox. I got it because it was free, and they were like, "Hey, let's do it." I was like, "All right." Don't try to alienate us. You're one of us. Yeah. The fuck I'm not. <laughs> I, am not. I have video of you getting Botox on my phone. Yeah, because it was free, and they were offering. Not oh, because sure. I went fucking. Oh, it's free. Made an appointment. It. That wasn't your first time getting Botox. It was the first time for lines. Oh. The first time, what, what oh, was the other time? The other time was for hyperhidrosis. Hyperhidrosis. Oh, okay. Sweating. Okay. Yeah. That doesn't do shit. Either, right? And that was like 15 years ago. It didn't work. So yeah. hmm. I'm not a Botox person. No, I don't want to get, I don't want to look old. I want to get, I want to keep these lines gone. You look, you look very young. You don't want to look old. Thank Stop you. taking steroids. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking steroids. I just mask it with Botox. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Before I took steroids, I looked like I was 14. Yeah. Well, you were 14. 40. So, Justin, you're on your way to Tampa this weekend. Me too. Yeah, I am. Yeah. You too, Ian. Me too. Are you actually going? Yep. Paul's coming too. Holy shit. We're all going to be there. Gang, ben, yeah. Ben's going to be there. It's Nick's gang, fucking gang. birthday. I know. It's, for, it's Paul's birthday and Nick's birthday. Wow. Nice. When's Paul's birthday? The 5th. Oh, nice. Sat- Saturday. Oh, shit. Two days oh, no, after mine. Yeah. So, That's Friday. Right? That's Friday. Is your birthday tomorrow? Yeah. Mine's tomorrow. Yeah. So, what are you doing? So, Happy birthday, Nick. What are you going to get for your birthday, Nick? What? What? what you bought himself a BMW. Birthday? I bought my BMW. I know. What? What is? Some, what is somebody else getting you? Anything? Do you request it? Or... I'm just training legs. Like you know, what we should do. We should. We should uh, buy him some Botox. Yeah. <laughs> you can Venmo me money for Botox. Yeah, yeah. You go get Botox. We'll Venmo you, you the cost combined. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. What yeah. are you getting from your girlfriend? Uh, I don't know. Well, why would he know that? Well, what did he ask her for? That's what I want to know. I don't ask up? for gifts, bro. I don't. I don't do that. You don't ask for gifts? No, I don't like gifts. Really? So that's why I bought. My, that's why I bought myself a gift. See, he doesn't like gifts because he doesn't want to have to give them. This is true as well. Don't give me anything. I don't want to owe you. I kind of like that. I kind of feel. I understand that thought process. Yeah. Did you get a BMW X6M or just an X6? Tell me, you got an M. I think I, I think did I get Justin knows what I got. <laughs> no, he, he, got, he, got the, he got the M40. No, like M's expensive as a He got the M design, but he not got the M40. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. got the fake M. I got the middle got one. The I guy, got this, he got the guy's sister Nino M. There's, no, there's the cheap one, and then the middle one. Yeah, and the yes. expensive. I got the middle one. You got the sister Nino one. It looks like an M, but it's not. No, <laughs> that listen. I, the, the high one was expensive. As fuck. I'm just busting you. Expensive. Yeah, but you, you're 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 doing okay. You could have fucking pulled. Yeah, it off. but I don't want to go crazy, you know. I spent a little too much money on the M. You already have a fast car, so it's okay. It's still fast. It'll still be fast. Oh, you, you still know, have the Corvette? Yeah, I'm gonna keep that. Yeah. You know how many people got mad at me for telling you to get a Cadillac instead of the BMW? You know how many fucking DMs I got of how <laughs> you're an asshole. <laughs> you were like, you're Fuad, like don't it's already done. Fuad. Don't listen to Fuad. Listen, I just want to clarify one thing. I never said the Cadillac was a better vehicle as far as being built or speed or handling. I just said it was more comfortable because it was bigger. Yeah. That's all. So you but can't the really... X6 is very roomy, man. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty much the same thing as my car, like space-wise. Yeah, I mean... You have the, you have the M5. Or yeah, the M5. Yeah. yeah, I had a Jeep Trackhawk. It's pretty much the same size. I just didn't yeah. feel like it was big enough inside. Yeah, I have my truck that's fucking plenty big. So that's what. See, so you have a twenty five hundred. That's like the, what I mean. You need something big and roomy, and then something sporty. I got a fucking blowout driving back from Stewart the other day in my Stinger. The Your fucking... tire? Yeah, I had a tire go. I had to fucking buy, get a whole new tire. Yeah. Why did you hit a bump, or did you run over a nail, or what? I must have run over a nail. Yeah, but it was in the inside sidewall, so they couldn't patch it. So I just had to get a new tire. 
Probably because it was a stinger. Stinger. <laughs> like this thing's a Kia. Yeah, they were they were Pilot Sport fours though. They're the best tires. <laughs> he sent me a fucking thing today because he sent me a video today of a Kia beating a Challenger. <laughs> he sent me a Hellcat. Beating a Hellcat. Beating a Hellcat. That stinger is not stock, obviously. <laughs> no, but neither's mine. I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you souped up a stinger, dude. That's sick. I think we should have Nick and Ian race when we go down there. Well, what car do you have again? He's got a, what kind of car? You don't only have the stinger, the stingray though. You don't have the Z06, do you? Nick? Who are you talking about? Nick, do you have a stingray or a Z06? Z06. Oh, you have a Z06. Yeah, Nick will kill you. Yeah, he'll kill me. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, maybe like a Z- I got the all-wheel drive, so I might get a little better. Oh, track. you're probably gonna jump on him once he get once he gets up to speed. I'm fucked. Yeah. Is it automatic or stick, Nick? Mine's automatic. Yeah. I think he could probably take you. How much horse does your Stinger have? Like stock? What? what? How much horse does the Stinger have stock? Three seventy-five. Three seventy-five. He's probably got up to like four twenty-five. I'm a little more than that. Yeah. I'm. I'll fucking burn you. <laughs> Nick's got six fifty. <laughs> <laughs> and 600 and 650 foot pounds of torque. That shit roars like a lion. All to, the, all to the rear wheels, though. So yeah, that shit roars like a lion, baby. <laughs> Roll, rolling start, your <laughs> yeah, rolling I start. Turn, yeah, turn that turn on. It's like burr, 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 burr. that's what my car sounds like too, though. I'm like, woo. Yeah, no, mine does just, it. Mine sounds just like that too. Have you never heard my car? <laughs> your car sounds like that. It's a six that's, cylinder. It's, Dude, when you start my car, it's like, is your car is your car a sick? And when you let off the gas, it does like the gurgles and shit, you know? Is your, car, <laughs> is your car a six or an eight? No, it's a twin turbo V6. Yeah, so I thought, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I've never heard a twin turbo V6 sound like throaty. Oh, she's in the shower. Yeah, so Melissa, let's like, get over here. Yeah, I need, I need Melissa, back oh, up. I need back up. No, it's it sounds. If you didn't, it sounds like a six still, but it sounds like a very deep gurgly V six. Not bad. I'm, I'm sure it's got a pretty nice sounding cold start. Yeah, it's cold start. Here we go. Here we go. You should hear mine, dude. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Your what? <laughs> <The BMW? laughs> My X five M. It's a yeah. twin turbo V eight, dude. Yeah, that's a sweet ride. 625 horsepower, baby. It's pretty but much the same. It's pretty smoke your stinger. It would have been the same as yours, Nick, if you got the full M. If you got the M, yeah. What? I went one below. Hmm. Okay. No, I'm That's actually right. surprised too how fast my uh, Lariat is with the V6 in it. Yeah, they're not bad. The twin, it's, the, five, the, it's the like term, five and a half seconds, zero six. Zero V6. Like it's actually pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so. You and Blessing are fighting. Oh, you don't you don't think he's gonna place? No, you're a racist, is what you are. Oh yeah, and you're a racist. <laughs> yeah, like that guy called you a racist. My, my answer to that was great though. Come on. I think we all had some pretty good zingers in there. <laughs> <laughs> I think it, it kind of fucked him over when Blessing came on and was like, "Don't play the race card." Yeah, <laughs> kind of like. Well, it, it also didn't help him that nobody likes Divine to begin with. So, <laughs> why does everybody hate that guy? I don't even like know who that guy this is. He's like a pompous dude that like walks off stage when he doesn't get his own placing. I yeah, listen to the Tampa Pro walk off stage when he didn't win a show. Really? Yeah, crybaby. Yeah, he's just a big sour crybaby. Yeah. But yeah. has he done anything else, or he just like doesn't show? Good he throws like, a huge attention to handsome. No, I think he's put up some videos like talking about stuff that's like he's just kind of like a, a, a douchebag, you know? That was just a really stupid fucking comment. Yeah. Well, no, the comment he made about the race thing was stupid for sure. But I just, I, I noticed a lot of people were commenting that they don't like him. And I'm like, I didn't really know what I, he's I done. He's made quite a few, I'm, I'm not a fan. I think he's made quite a few moves to upset people. Yeah. Well, that's too bad for him. Um, okay. More importantly, Nick's birthday, Paul's birthday, and the, the, Tampa, Tampa, Pro, Pro. the Tampa Pro yeah. is going on this weekend. What are you guys going down? Friday? Friday, early afternoon. I'll be there. I'll be there Friday, like 5 30 p.m. I was gonna try and do. Hey, Ian, are you going Friday? No, I'm gonna drive up Saturday early. All right. Maybe I'll. Um, I was thinking about doing some interviews on Friday, like pre-show interviews, and then maybe I'll just Saturday I'll chill with you guys and not do any work. So you're okay. gonna be there Saturday. What time? You're gonna be there for pre-judging. Yeah, I'll get me. There. No, uh, Ian, sorry. Yeah. Well, you're for sure gonna be there. For you're from Tampa, you're gonna be there. Yeah, I'll be there for. I'll, I'll be there Friday and Saturday. When's the When's the morning? When's the pre-judging? Be there Saturday? Sunday. It's like 11, I think, for the men's bodybuilding. Okay, good. Yeah. All right. Um, like seven or eight. Let's take a look at the show. It's a let's fucking man. There's literally no one like bad in the lineup. 
Yeah, it's a great show. Considering we had show. we had two like it's a very, shallow, like, a very thin, <clears throat> like field of guys. You know, like it's there's no one. I else. have I have my money on Kamal. Okay, just wait a minute. So, it's uh. Don't put me on hold. Pull up I'm the putting, lineup. I'm putting you on hold. Can everybody just fucking shut up for a second? <laughs> I'm not talking. Holy fuck! I'm gonna pull up the lineup. That's what I'm doing. Just pull it up. Hurry. Okay. okay. Here we go. So. It's nice to see this after two oh, shows. Oh, I don't want to cut you off. I just trained with Tim Budashim yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Cool guy. Yeah. Isn't it Budashim? Whatever, dude. Budashim? We'll call him Budashim. Budashim? Budashim. Very, very nice guy. I did chess with him yesterday. Very nice guy. All right. Okay. Let's pull out some uh, placings. <laughs> okay. Oh, Darren Haywood back in the mix. Your favorite. That's cool. Tim's doing it. I am not putting him in my top five again. One win. Dorian. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie's good. Phil's good. I mean, now I got you to shave your head. Roman's good. I mean, there's a lot of good guys here. Is Roman going to be able to fill out? Yes. Uh, Who's helping him? Uh, I can't. Is. I know Ben is giving him a hand, but I don't think he's like full blown coaching him. It's just, it's Patrick, right? <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know if Patrick's Patrick's working with Keon. I don't think Patrick's working yeah. with Keon. Yeah. Oh, I thought he was. Ben yeah. Ben gets here tomorrow. Yeah, Ben's getting in early. Okay, let's go one by one. So Ian. Wait, wait. What? Someone's missing on this list. Yeah, this isn't the newest list. When was this posted? Oh, uh the Mr. USA is doing it. Uh Stuart. Oh yeah, okay. Stuart. There's, I think oh, no, who's uh fuck? Why am I drawing a blank on his name? No, there's a newer list. Where? Oh. Uh where? Yeah, the, the kid who just won USA's is doing it. Okay, that's fine, but I don't want to change this for the one guy. We can just remember that he's doing it. Is there anybody else? Is yeah, what's his is... Canadian? What's his name? Quint. 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 Oh, here. Okay. okay. I have the I have the lineup here. Where Where is it? Ifbbpro.com. Uh... Okay. Okay. Now click that Tampa banner. Yeah. And now scroll down. Yeah. Okay. There you go. All right. Okay. Ian. Yes, sir. We're going to wait before we pick picks. Are we betting anything on this? No. Doesn't Ian owe us for like a really crappy shake? Yeah. Someone actually reminded me about that the other day. <laughs> are we betting anything else? Or are you squeezing, are you squeezing, squeezing lemon juice in your eye? I'm not shaving my head again. Or hot sauce in your eye. How about you have to shave your beard? I just started to grow it, but I'll shave it. You don't even care, though. That's not even good. I don't. Yeah. That's not... Justin does, though. Justin, you can shave your beard. I just shaved it. I don't give a shit. Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. no. You got to be clean. No, you got to be clean shaven for a month. Oh, yeah. You clean shaven bastard. Fuck. Okay, forget it. How about whoever loses has to not clip their toenails for a month? I don't know. <laughs> clip I... their fingernails. And then, uh, and then you got to take a picture at the uh, end of the month. So we I know Ian would hate that. That's an average month for me, bro. <laughs> I bite my I bite my fingernails. The same uh, rules don't apply to my fingers as my toes. Does Paul still have his nipple piercing? <laughs> yes. He, really? How long has he held it? Paul's had it for three weeks now. Is it growing on him? So Saturday, Saturday will be the four week mark where he's allowed to take it out, but he can't take it out because you have to leave it in for six weeks. As <laughs> <laughs> no, if you, as if you take it out. <laughs> no, it says you can't take it out. Six Dude, weeks. I've had my nipple pierced like 15 times. Uh, don't <laughs> tell him this. Just leave it. He's got to leave it in for six weeks. Okay, six uh, weeks. Yeah. All right, let's look at the show. No bets? I don't know. Nobody wants to make a bet, so I'm not going to force it. I'll bet anything, man. I don't give a fuck. What do you want to bet? All right, well, let's bet. What do you want to bet? Well, it's your show. You tell me. Uh, now it's my show. When everybody else is interrupting me, it's not my show, but now it's my show. Okay, fine. Yeah, then we're your guests and we can talk over you, and now it's your show. You have to make decisions. <laughs> well, Nick's going to say no to everything. Okay, well, then just you and me. All right. Justin, are you in? I'll probably say no to everything, too. <laughs> Will you? Wait, I was going to say, why do you sing no? Because you always say no to everything. If I say well, shave your head. It depends what it okay, is. It depends what it is. Okay, you got to shave, you shave your head then. <laughs> we'll never, I didn't know. I'm not doing that again. See? Okay, let's just make predictions. Just make the predictions. Let's go. You, you can't do that to me again. Okay, you got to eat mayonnaise. Oh, that's I, good. You got to eat, burger at least? You gotta eat no. two pieces of toast with no. just a two no, tablespoons. One, one tablespoon to the dome, just one. That's it. <laughs> two. You're 20 right. You'll be fine. Two. Two. No, one. Two. Because I want him to taste the first one and then have to take a second one. No, no, oh, no. Oh, no. No, he can do one, but he can't chase it and he can't plug his nose. 
Was it for ten gross? minutes? Ten minutes. Yes, yeah, so, no. It's just as a swallow it and let it like like yeah. sit there for a minute. You know, let it marinate. Marinate for a minute. Like swallow it and then bask in it for a minute. You do better than fucking mayonnaise. No, he hates mayonnaise. He I hates fucking mayonnaise. disgusting. Really? Yeah. <laughs> this is probably also some fucking ploy he's been lining up for years so that when we finally get him to do something gross, we use this. And it's like his favorite. Thing. <laughs> he loves mayonnaise oh, secretly. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, oh, this is so That's fun. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fuck this. Let's just bet money. How much? I like money. 100 bucks. Thousand. I'll do 100. Thousand. <laughs> Yeah, I'll throw it a hundred. I didn't fucking take fifth at the Olympia. I'm not doing a thousand. Okay, thousand. <laughs> Who? What? The winner. The no, winner gets everybody's money. Yeah. Okay. Is everybody putting in a thousand? No, no I'm putting in a grand. Five hundred. What the fuck? I'll do a hundred, or we're gonna fucking tap out. Get out of here. Get out of my pay. Fuck. Okay, wait. Two fifty. That way you get like seven fifty total. Two fifty. Five hundred. Okay, hundred bucks. Fuck it, hundred bucks. I'll, yeah, do two, I'll do two. I'll do two. Whatever. I'll do whatever. If everyone agrees to five hundred or thousand, I'll do it. I'm get fucked. Justin, two fifty. Fucking whatever. I don't care. Two fifty. <laughs> okay, two fifty. All, right, All right, let's, let's go. go. Okay. <laughs> oh, this one matters more now. Can I Venmo? Are we allowed to Venmo or PayPal? Yes. I need to. I need to sober up a bit. I'm a I want to make sure I, I, I plug it for my taxes. <laughs> <laughs> claim it on your taxes. A bodybuilding bet. I gotta claim it. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Who wants to go first? Me. Are we okay. doing this in order? I love it. The confidence. Are we doing I'm this ready. in order? Yeah, we can pick. Go, Ian. Pick your top top first guy. Pick your first. first pick your winner. Are you, are you pick it. First okay. Place. First place. Akeem oh, Williams. fuck, man. First place, Akeem Williams. Okay, Ian says Akeem Williams first. Okay. Place. Okay. Nick. Who do you got first? Well, I was going to pick Kamal, but there's money on the line here, so I have to change. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me pick my full five. I'll pick my full five. No, no, no. Go, go around. So it's fun. No, that's Just, silly. Each person's got to go. Do no, goal. because no, no, no. Because I don't want other people leeching off of your picks. So let's just go around, and that yeah, way everybody media leeching instead of total. Well, this one's still gonna leech. Yeah, it's the same. No, it's leeching one person instead of the full top five. Can I, just can one I, can I make a pick? Here? Let's all say first place at the same time. A three, two, one. Did I make a pick? <laughs> you guys said it was my show. Shut the fuck up. Okay. okay one at I, a time. Go around. Can I, can I pick my winner. Yes. Go yeah. ahead. I just want to pick the winner. Okay, go ahead. Okay, thank you. See, I'm gonna probably pick a keem too. I'm gonna pick a keem too. That's okay. <laughs> Who had you're gonna pick a keem too? Okay, who's second? No, I'm not. Shut up. Yes, you are. Come on. No, I'm not. I am gonna pick Quinton. Okay. Ooh. I'm gonna pick Quinton. You Good ballsy bastard. I like it. I like it. I like Quinton. Fuck it. It's only 250 bucks. Yeah. Okay. Second. Okay. Ian, go for second. Uh, this is a really tough one between Kamal and, and Quinton. That's a good yes. one. Yeah. That's, that's very yes. hard because obviously structurally and overall size, Quinton is, is going to be better. Uh, Kamal but is going to come in and fucking rock Kamal hard. Kamal is going to be, is going to outcondition. Oh, I'll, I'll tell you this now. Kamal is old. I kind of, I kind of have Kamal and then Quinton just because. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to go Kamal and then Quinton. Yeah. Okay. Ian says Kamal. I think we're all going to have the same top five. I know. Can I know. Just, just fucking humor me, please. Oh no, we're not. We're all just taking two ads money. Hey, calm down, buddy. Kamal, Quinton, Nick, who's second and third? Kamal, Quinton. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. You guys are fucking no fun. Okay. Well, when money's on the line, we're going to. There's money this. here, man. Quinton. All right. Justin. Fourth. Who's your second and third? Is Kamal and uh, you two? Yeah. Kamal, Kamal, Quinton. I say Kamal and Kamal for second, Quinton third. What do you got, Fuad? One second. I'm trying to get there, but you guys won't shut up. All right. Quentin Man. first. I'm going to go Akeem second, Kamal third. Okay. okay. Ian, we go got forward. fourth, Ian. Now this I get between... Who, who's your, yeah, who's your go-to here? Oh, I'd like gonna... to see... It's on, Phil on Mahar... Man. Mine's, I think mine's between Phil and Tim. Who's Tim? Oh, Tim. Tim Burson. 
Yeah, kid who I was literally just talking to. Um, he is he has not been literally out of the top five in any show he's done. So this is true, but there's a lot of guys with really good backs here that are left, and he. That's not, this is also true. Good. So for me, I have I have Tim and Roman wherever they are, they're next to each other. Very okay. conditioned, but still have some lacks of muscularity. Um, in that four spot, it's tough between Phil. Sung Chul and Eddie for me, to be honest. Who? No way. Eddie no Bracamontes. I don't see Eddie in the top. No way. No okay, way. I'm going to put Phil Kalhar in. Uh, in- <laughs> okay, Phil. I have Phil too. I'm going to go Phil. Yeah, you're going Phil. Wow, you guys are really and excited. Then- Wait a second. Well, Justin, well, go. Well, what's your well, fourth? Exactly the same. Yeah. I-, <laughs> I hope I fucking whip your asses and take all your money. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Well, it would be uh, either way. It wouldn't matter. You're taking our money. Everybody's or nobody's, you know? Hey, don't be, don't be rude. Don't be rude. Yeah, how are you guys going to fucking win? Like, w- we can't. It's just, no, we'll it's... just take, we'll take your 250 and split it three ways. Great. Okay. That makes me happy, actually. <laughs> uh, Justin, who's your fourth pick? Did you guys both just choose Phil as your Yeah. Uh, is that what you're going for? I mean, on paper, yeah, that's kind of what I would think. Yeah, yeah. I hate. I... Is that where you're going? <sighs> yeah. Okay, Phil. I'm gonna go with Roman. I'm gonna have Roman in my in fifth. Okay, Roman fifth. I'm Ian. going Tim fifth. Ian, you're going Roman fifth. Uh, let me. I'm, just... going, I'm going Tim. Nick, you're going That's, Tim. Just wait. Has Sung Chul posted any photos lately? Not really. Uh, no, I haven't no. seen what any of these guys look like. Okay, we'll go through them in a minute. We just want to do the picks first, and then we can change our picks if we want. Ian, go pick first, and we'll go through the photos. That you yeah, yeah I'm going to go with Roman. Yeah. Okay, Roman fifth. Yeah. Okay. Who did Nick choose fifth? Nick Tim. picked Tim. 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 All right. Yeah, okay, they're, so they're, I agree to. Let's go through some of the photos and see what the boys look like. Um, uh, let me move this down. Okay. Sung Chu. So who do you want to see? Sung Chu? Yeah, I'm looking at him right now. There's nothing. <laughs> this guy? This is Sung Chul. Yeah, he's, he's been to the Olympia. He has won a show. He beat Samson in that show, remember? This is Sung Chul. He's got a great physique from the front, lagging from the back. Doesn't really get conditioned enough, in my opinion. Thank you. Pretty muscularity, conditioning. Pretty similar to On Win. What Same. did you say, Nick? I said thank you for that quick commentary of Sung Chul. Well, if you forget, there are people watching that don't know who he is, so I need to give them a quick rundown of who he is. <laughs> <laughs> Born if, you, if, you, if you forgot, we are on a podcast, and there are people watching. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, anybody have anything to add to that? Because usually that's that's the two kind of two. No. Okay. Nick, uh, sorry, Ian, do you have anything to add to that? No. No, you're right. He, okay. he, he, likes, he did the Arnold with us, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, no, I've done a few shows with him. Yeah, he lacks conditioning in the. I've done Tampa with him. I've done his a few back times. isn't as good. So Tim take a look. Is, at, take a look at Tim. Tim, Tim gets in shape. Tim's the leanest guy in every show, but he has very minimal back, and he's structurally not a huge guy. I feel like Tim doesn't get, even though he's lean, he doesn't get crazy detailed. No, he's not crazy detailed. I mean, but he's he, very he's, dry and very hard. But I think I, look, I, look, I watched him pose yesterday. He looks he looks really good. But I'm just saying, I think that's why I picked him over. Uh, I think that's why I picked Roman over Tim because I think yeah, Roman's yeah. going to be diced. Yeah, Roman's going to be fucking peeled. He does got a great physique though. How is he from the back? That's it's shallow. He lacks the most. He lacks back. Yes. Yeah, it's shallow. But I think Roman lacks a little bit of back too, so they'll probably. Yeah, I think Roman has a, a wash. Better, Roman's got a little bit better V taper and a little bit better glute, so I, I would give Roman the back shots. But other than that, they're a toss up. The side shots are definitely a toss up. Why isn't Roman popping up? There he is. He so Roman just posted today. this today. Absolutely fucking peeled. Look, it's just a little flat to me, though. That's, yeah, he's just flat. I just don't think he has the size. I think Roman's deceiving, though, man. I think he's like 275 pounds here. Mm-hmm. Like, I think his size is deceiving. He's a little thin through the... Roman? Like 5'10", 5'11". Yeah, I remember him being a little taller Crazy. than I am. Like, he's a big guy. He looks very flat, but he's he looks very lean. Yeah, like, he's yeah, he's fucking peeled. Tall. I think he's, his, he's good from the front, too. I think his overall size and condition go to, is going to carry him. Video, there's a front video there. Yeah, like, look at that. Fucking that's, nice. That's great shape, man. Yeah. Tight waist, crazy good. Crawl. Who do I have in fourth? I could even fucking. 
I have Phil and no, Phil I have Kamal. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't pick my fifth. I had Roman in fourth. I didn't okay, pick my you pick Phil Clark. I didn't pick my fifth guy yet. Just give me a second. I'll probably take Tim. I'm gonna take Tim in fifth, probably. And leave Phil out of the top five? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, listen, I, I thought I'll give I'll tell you guys why. I thought last year Phil looked absolutely incredible. He but did. I don't I don't think he's been able to replicate the same physique this year. I agree. I so agree. unless he can unless he can replicate last year this at this show, I don't think he'll be in the top five. So that's it's really just his stomach. Last year, his stomach looked a lot tighter. Yeah. The and only I, thing for me is he is going to be overwhelming in size and back muscularity yeah. compared to some of those guys under him. I agree with you, but I think um, we'll take a look at him. I think because of the way the IFBB is judging now, the stomach is a, a, a focal point. And if you look at these two pictures, this is last year and this is this year. And you can see it. Yeah, you see a dramatic difference between these oh, two. 100%. I mean, I saw him yeah. in person in Orlando, did two shows with him last year. He no, 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 I know. Thing. Yeah, I know. So uh, I'm just kind of explaining to the people at home. Like, I think if he can bring this look back, you guys are definitely right. He'll be in the top five. Yeah. yeah. But I if he, I think if he shows up the way he's been showing up the last couple shows, I don't think he'll beat Roman or Tim. Okay. Uh, I don't know. It could be a carb up thing. Cause when you have a stomach like that, yeah. I think when you carb load properly, you can get it tight. Like my stomach okay. used to do that. If I carb load wrong, it would look wide. And if well, I carb so load, right, is, I think it's a little bit of just an age thing too. And I hate to say it, this, like, you know, where the skin, just the collagen's broken down a bit more and it doesn't quite hug this, the muscle quite the same. So even if the skin is thin as paper and there's no body fat, it's not quite like sitting flat and tight to the muscle yeah. you know yeah. i do i do agree with you and in that photo you can see his skin is a little bit loose but yeah. i feel like the width of his stomach could be aged that, because, that is a carb up digestion yeah. issue i would agree yeah. yeah it could be just they carb loaded wrong and if he gets it right at this show he could end up looking like this again well he worked with yeah. Farrah, and he and Farrah goes pretty crazy with the carbs right yeah i didn't know that <laughs> um who else did we want to look at akeem i don't think akeem's posted anything no, there was a video today just kind of like showing his arm, like bottom bit of his arm flexing, but oh, his arm looks dry. Yeah, it does. But it's not his arm we're worried about. Yeah, no, I know. I'm just calves. You can always tell by the calves a little bit too, though. Oh, not... You guys want to see, you guys want to see something? Sure, what's up? Well, your calves grow? Yes, actually. But <laughs> can you see this thing? No, no. is it what the fuck is that? that? What is that? <laughs> It's too dark. Turn I can't tell. On. Turn the light on. Oh, it's a stretcher. Oh, we were just talking about that nice. today. Juji was on it in the circles. I'm, I'm going to learn how to do the splits for the Olympia. You and Antoine are both going to do the splits for the Olympia then. Good. That'll, that'll get you in the top six. That's that's all I have against them is if I can do the splits. So <laughs> why it. are you why are you trying to learn how to split? You hate posing. Why you're gonna go from I don't like posing to I'm doing the splits. <laughs> well, because it's a hilarious troll for me to do the splits. It would actually be That'd fucking be really hilarious. Fun. Yes. You think you can get there in time? Uh yeah, my flexibility is actually already very good. I do stretch almost every day. Yeah. Um, like have you done have, did you used to be able to do the splits? Um, when I ran track when I was younger, I could pretty much do sides or front splits, whatever the easier ones are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, growing up, I could always do the side splits. I could always yeah. do that. So I was like, What do you mean? You mean the ones where you're like one foot goes in front, one foot goes back? Oh, out, out to the side. Ian's talking about front to back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about to the side. That's you used to be able to do that? Yeah, you saw it. Yeah. Man, to, how does it feel? Like 30, you went from being 40. so athletic to being used to being a fucking loser. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this, this fat, <laughs> incapable, stumbling. See, I went from being non-athletic to just more non-athletic. Yeah, I know. So no, I, used to, think, I used to be able to do really cool stuff. I had like great balance and shit. Now I like fall. Now I, you walk on your tippy toes. Yeah, yeah I do. And then, like I fall over walking. That's up. why your calves are so big. I know. If anybody like, wants to know, if anybody wants to know the secret, why? This is actually a true thing too. Though. No, no, I'm telling you. I, I noticed it when we were at Disney World. Justin walks on his tippy toes. That's why his calves are so massive. My heels never hit the ground when I walked. <laughs> Honestly, you know, if you're around Dallas, Dallas walked like kind of bouncy on his like toes like that too. And calves were fucking, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I do nothing for my calves and they just always grow. I'm just going to start walking in heels. But All yeah, right. no, I, I definitely think I'll be able to do the splits by the Olympia. Yes. Okay. Akeem, who else did we have? Oh, let's look at Kamal. Kamal. <laughs> he posted some pics today. 
What's going on with my fucking? I feel like your my... fucking IG is always acting up. I know. What the fuck? Look at this. What is this? They don't. They don't want me to participate. There we go. All right. Uh, this is recent. Fuck you, shredded, today. Eh? How are you, fifty years old? He's like, just how is, fifty-one. It's how is very, that possible? It's a very crisp look, you know. Maybe I want to change my fucking thing. We have him in second, or I did. I have Kamal in third. I mean, he could he could edge out Akeem. Possibly, if Akeem's if out he, of shape. If he's fucking diced, if Akeem's he, he could he hot. could wedge out anyone if they're off condition. I think the yeah. only way he beats Akeem is if Akeem's off. I, yeah. I don't think if they're both on that he beats Akeem or no, Quinn. There, but no, Akeem, no, Akeem's not. on versus off is almost a 50-50 shot. Yeah. I hate to say that, but that's just you know, been historically. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I Nick, a, a Nick, Nick, do you know what he's weighing right now? 20. 220? 20, yeah. So Does Akeem's going to be like 260. Yeah, so he'll have 40 pounds on him, yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, that's a really nice shape. Good. The thing is, Akeem's quads are going to be way better. Yes. Like, like Akeem's quads really sweep. But pretty- Akeem's back and like glute and hand, all his whole backside detail and conditioning is where there's going to be a very big discrepancy. I agree. I agree. E- I agree. Even if he's on the upper back detail versus Kamal's, won't be on par. So, just so people can kind of see what we're saying, this is back. This is Kamal's. Well, we don't see his glutes and hams, but this is the detail we're looking at. And then if we look at Akeem, for those who don't remember or don't know, it's Akeem's one body you might part. Just to, you might just have to Google it. Yeah, you don't think he posts it? I mean, you think he's going to post a shot of him looking soft from the back? No, not soft. I just wonder just if he posts Just the detail. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to show people. Look kind at of that what side it, leg. Jesus. Fuck, man. I know, right? Like this is what I'm talking about. Look at his legs. Like, yeah, that's I don't know, him. man. I know he might be giving yeah. up some. Ba- I know he might be giving up some from the back, but like, yeah, but he's gonna blow everyone yeah. away. I, I think he's. That's why I picked him to win. Obviously, I mean, I think yeah. he will be too much size wise for anybody. You know. Do you think qu- with Quentin's shape though? Because Quentin's put on some good size too. Yeah, but I mean, he's not. He's not going to be as muscular as a king. Uh, and but, even uh, Quentin uh, got in really good shape that last show, but it's like a just a difference in hardness. Like I just, know, but I feel like Dorian. You know, now that I've seen how Antoine looks, I feel like Dorian's figured something out. You can, I'm, man, see, I'm really bit, excited to see it. you can still see a bit in the texture of his skin here that he's not super super hard, but his conditioning does look solid. Yeah, I oh, yeah. mean, you know, you're right. I think you're right. Like Akeem is very very impressive with the thickness. Mm-hmm. I just wonder because his shape is so fucking flawless. Like that's his shape is ridiculous. I mean, that's really, really so special. If, so if we're pending completely even conditioning, then it's just a thing of shape versus size. And I still think the size is gonna win, to be honest. It depends how much size he's given up. Yeah. Because Akeem, cause, uh, cause Quentin's because Quentin's gonna have a better back. Lat- because of Akeem's laps and chest like insertions, he looks extremely muscular in like the front shots, you know. Yeah, when he's bang on in shape, he looks crazy. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. But chest I wonder gigantic, the arms are gigantic. But I wonder because we're talking about Kamal from the back, Quentin's actually put on a lot of back size as well. He also yeah. put a lot of thickness in his chest. Look at this. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, and that comparison from last year to this year. You can see how much thicker his chest got. I'm trying to see if I can find a back shot somewhere. I mean, his back has definitely come up, especially the lower lat area. Yeah. I think uh, that could be a problem for Quentin. <clears throat> for Akeem, you mean? Or, sorry, a, for Akeem, you're right. Yeah. I mean, look no, at this. Look, I, I've always said Look, at, look at this. Quentin is one of the most impressive trajectory-wise for a bodybuilder if he continues to improve. I just don't know if he has enough size yet. Enough. Yeah. Yeah. Because we have to work. We're also saying like Akeem doesn't have good shape. I mean, Akeem in a front double has a small waist, nice high lats. He is shaped very nice. It's yeah. the only the only part that throws me about Akeem is his back. Yes. His back is just one of those ones that looks like the skin is always thick. So you know? let's say, let's say Quentin and Akeem are standing next to next to each other like this, and they're both in the same condition. Nick, what do you think? Akeem. 
Akeem? Yeah, I agree. In a front relax like that with Akeem's thickness in his lats and chest and his quads. His, his lats would flare way too hard. Yeah, he's and he's just going to be a little too 3D, you know? I think I'm banking think on... He's going to beat everyone in every shot except for possibly the two back, back shots. shots. Yeah, yeah. And more just a back double than anything. Yeah. Well, you know, Real honestly, back. if I just pick Akeem and then Quinton, I'm still different than all of you, and I could still take all your money. Yeah. Because you guys all pick Kamal in second. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So all I have to do is put Akeem first, Quentin second. Which, the more we discuss it, the more... Oh, there's a back shot. I mean, it's really... I don't think he has enough I'm size gonna, in the back. I'm yeah. just going to match what you're doing, Fuad, then I got a 50-50 chance. <laughs> what do you mean? I'll just no, copy yours. No, you fucking can't same. do that. Fuck off. Nick against you <laughs> Yeah, yeah. 50-50. Fuck I you, like you mouth. can't... I don't, know, I don't think his hamstrings are up to par, neither. I do. It's right. really just, I think he needs more torso size to be. Yeah, just up to this torso size. I mean, it's going to be interesting yeah. to see. Look, I, I would love to Quinn to come in here and fucking blow the doors off the show. But yeah. when we're getting $250, I have to be as realistic as I can with how much progress you could have made from the end of last year till now, you know? That's so and good. And even though I bet his back did improve a significant amount, is that going to be enough to beat you know, someone who six? Akeem you has know, six at the Olympia, you know? Yeah. Can I, yeah. can I just really quickly, I just want to describe like, so this looks very, very like special to me. It all fits together perfectly. It's very, agree. very, very pretty. The difference is when you look at Akeem, it's not just what the fuck, man. There we go. Well, let me ask you the question then. Do you think that that version, a good version of Quinton, could have been sixth in the Olympia where Akeem came sixth? Uh, no, and this is and this is what I'm saying. So it's this is not as pretty as Quinton, but there's so much dense muscle, it's hard to ignore. Yeah, yeah it's not like the, the, the discrepancy in prettiness isn't like, like, look, Quinton is very pretty, but he for a big dude is actually quite well. Okay, no, nice. no, no, but Ian, I think we're talking about two different things. I think when you're talking about Akeem, you're talking about his structure, which I agree with you is, Sorry. Yeah. is still pretty. When I look at Quinton, it still looks like fresh muscle. The skin is still really clean. Sure. Yeah. The lines are still really clean. I don't think, uh, when I look at Akeem, I see good structure, but it's just gnarly looking. Yeah. Which is more impressive to look at. It's yes. like, it's crazy to match like this kind of density. Yeah. So I think that's where Quentin's going to have a little bit of trouble unless he's absolutely fucking peeled. Yeah. Because his shoulders and arms are going to be better. But I don't think he'll be able to match the leg thickness. Yeah, the side shots are going to be hard. Yeah, yeah. because if you look from this shot, I think Quentin's got better shoulders and arms. Well, side shot, most muscular and probably abs and thighs is going to be very tough to beat Akeem. Even though Quinton's going to have a good abs and thighs, Akeem's is outstanding. Yeah. Like, there's a picture of it above. Oh, where? Keep going, yeah. keep going, keep going. That's Look at that, too. Yeah. Yeah, that's really... And he didn't even do good at that, Arnold. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's, a, that's an edited photo, obviously, but, like, yeah. Yeah. Still, it's just the sh- I'm looking more at the shape than I am the condition. But I don't... Yeah. Click there, click that middle one. This one? Yeah, is there more... Oh no, okay. There's a keep going up. Keep going. There, those ones go through there. There's an absent dice. Like that, you know? I think that's just gnarly, you know? I think what I'm counting on is, or what I'm betting on is, will Akeem be at his best? Because it's been a couple of years since he's been at his best. I, I agree. I'm also. Like last year, he missed the mark, right? So is he going to make up for it or is he, is he going to miss it again? I'm undecided if Akeem needs to be at his absolute best to win the show, though. If Quinton's at his best, I think Akeem needs to be at his best. Um, I think if Quinton's not, I think if Quinton's not at his best, Akeem, uh, sorry, uh, Quinton and Kamal could beat him. Yeah, it depends how if he's if he's like the kind of condition he was at the Arnold or whatever the show was before that he was off to. I do agree with <coughs> agree with you. Yeah, <coughs> Justin Miller says he looks fucking crazy. I mean, it's Akeem's show to lose. I guess that's what we're saying. Yeah, I mean, obviously, like I said, based off, you know, a, a good Akeem can be sixth at the Olympia. A bad Akeem can be sixth at Chicago Pro. So it's hard to say, yeah. So what we're saying then is Akeem show to lose. If he's 100%, Akeem, Akeem if, beats I, everybody. I think if he's 90% or better, he beats everybody. Okay. Justin, you agree yeah. with that? Yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> Nick? Because, look, I, I always agree yeah. with whatever Ian says. <laughs> oh, I already know that, but I just thought I'd ask. Because him. I'm not count. I don't think. Quinton is going to be lights out shredded, but Kamal will be. 
I'm almost yeah. positive. I don't know about so, that, man. I think Dorian has learned something this year, and that's why that's why Antoine looked as good as he did in Chicago. Yeah, but Antoine has been peeled out of his mind like that before. I was going to say, Antoine has always kind of been peeled, though. Yeah. No, Antoine has never peaked the way he peaked in Chicago. He's uh, been shredded, but never full in heart. That LA show where he won or whatever, the show before, the last time he won. The California show? show? Yeah. 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 Uh, he did fill him out for that show. He was full as fuck for that show. Yeah, but he wasn't as hard as... I think Chicago is honestly his best look, in my opinion. Look, okay. So, if Quinton is super-duper peeled, then yes, I think he can beat him. But I think, just based off muscularity, even if he is 10 to 15% more conditioned than Akeem, Akeem is still going to outmuscle. Yeah, potentially, and yeah. Because, and because they're both weaker in the back department, the other shots is just going to be kind of a, a wash for Akeem. Um, but I think Kamal with his conditioning is kind of the wild card there. Yeah. Okay. So we've taken a look at everybody. That we, is there anybody that we, sorry, go ahead. Grandpa, please. grandpa Kamal can sneak up in there. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Uh, before we move on real quick, did we take a look at everybody that we want to look at? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. We're over here. Uh, what about Morgan Aste? Is he going to shake it up? No. Eddie, oh, no. Eddie Brocamontes. Oh, no. Usually he's up in that, up in the top five sometimes. <laughs> no, no. What about Henry Jackson? Or Joe Mackey? I saw uh, a Henry. Yeah, Joe Mackey. I don't Mackey. see it. I don't see it. I don't no, see Henry, it. Henry's still way too small. Uh, this is Henry. This yeah. is Henry Jackson, for those people wondering. So, he is a very pretty shape, but yeah. he's not filled in enough for the size of frame he has. Okay. I'll take your word for it. I don't know how big he is. So I, I, mean, I, agree, with, I agree with Ian. I just think he looks a little slight. Like, he looks a little long and thin still, you know? Yeah. I like mean, his side I, leg is not very thick. He's, like, he's very, he's very tall. I wonder yeah. how he'll stack up next to Quinton. That's what I'm thinking. Like, no, click his profile though. You'll see those front shots where you can see like his quads. He has tall guy quads and length. I mean, I mean, that's a good back, dude. Wait, go to the pictures. Wait, look. Oh, that looks ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's a good back. Yeah. That's crazy back. <laughs> Let's see like that. It's a little different. Yeah. Yeah. And his it's, hamstrings, you know. It's still a little thin. Yeah. Yeah. See, wait, there's a front shot like. Yeah, his legs are have a nice shape, but they they don't. No, he doesn't quite have the muscularity yet. I think I think you give him another couple of years, um, but I think right now he just doesn't quite have enough tissue. He looks like he could be very impressive in like a year or two. Yeah, give him two three years, he'll be, yeah. he'll be excellent. Yeah, he's got a really, yeah, really, he's got a really nice shape. He's got just got to fill that out. Great shape. If he gets in condition with that kind of shape, um, at height, he'll be very impressive. But he obviously because he's a taller, bigger guy, really needs to fill that in. We used to sponsor Henry. I always thought he was really good. I'd like to see him. Uh, I'd like to see him do well. He's a nice guy. Um, okay, Henry Jackson. So, what did we say about uh, Mackie? Mackie's looking good. Joe Mackey looks really good, and I, I do like certain shots of his, like his side chest and stuff. But something about how he flows from the front just doesn't quite like work for me. Well, I think his shoulders are kind of his shoulders are kind of narrow for narrow, the crowd right? tall he is. Yeah. Because, like, you see his legs, how long and thick they are, and then it well, kind of matches. His yeah, it doesn't really, like, his shoulders don't come out where they need to come out. that side chest is just fucking dense, gnarly muscle, you know? Yeah. But then when you look from the side chest also, you get a ton yeah. of sweep. You get a ton of sweep in the hamstring. But not really. Much. Really good shoulder and arms, but the, the quad doesn't kind of pop off yeah. the way it needs to. So his quads are great <laughs> from the front, not great from the side. Shoulders, <laughs> shoulders, are, great, shoulders are great from the side, but kind of narrow from the front. Yeah. You can tell that motherfucker's strong just by looking at these shots. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a strong dude. He's very strong. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I mean, he still could be very impressive. I mean, Milos looks like he's trying to help him with his posing, so maybe he could make him, you know, accentuate some of these body parts. Yeah. But I mean, when you look from the side here, you see I see a little bit of the distinction of the, uh, the leg, the discrepancy in the leg. I mean, that's a little bit narrow for a guy his size. Yeah. From the side. Yeah, and then it's just the clavicle width. That's yeah. Really... Yeah. He's got great body parts, so just gonna kind of put it all together. Okay. Anybody else we want to take a look at here? Um, no. What about okay. Onwin? Oh, Onwin. I always like Onwin's physique, but he never yeah. gets never gets he, in just, shape. Just, this is the mark. Yeah. Yeah, he's not he's not consistent with conditioning. Where's Onwin? Onwin. But he's got su such a nice shape. Is it NGU or NGY? Yeah. NGYU. There it is. He doesn't post anything. Yeah. This is like from last year, I think. Yeah. This is 2011. Yeah. Okay. What? Uh, okay. <laughs> no way. Yeah. 
Is no, this for, are there any tag photos? This is from 2011, this picture. Yeah, but he didn't post it in 2011. No, no, no. I know. I'm just saying. Uh, tagged. These are from these are from like a while ago. These aren't. Yeah, and look at that shot up these there. Are, these are from last year. The muscle just doesn't ever look hard. I mean, he's in shape here. You can see. You can see he's in shape, but the muscle just looks soft for some reason. He always looks a little flat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So on. Okay, you want to take a look at two twelve or no? I mean, there's a lot of 212 guys. But All right, let's, let's, let's take a look. Let's take a look at 212. Who cares? We're not, this is what we're doing. It's a bodybuilding show. All right. 212. I'm excited to see. Uh, we got Ditto Shack and Cody Drobot both in this. Yeah. I'm excited Nathan, to see Epler. Nathan Epler is going to win the show. Epler's good. Uh, I'm going to go Keon. I'm going to go with Keon. I, oh, yeah. I, but, yeah, I forgot about but, that. I mean, Nathan, do you Nathan know, gets fucking peeled and has really nice shape. Do you know Cody Fuad? Uh, I know who he is. Yeah, I don't know yeah. him well. He looks really good. Pull him up. I'm good. One sec. I'm just. I don't know a lot of these names. We're gonna I look at him. Know. We're gonna look at him. It's okay. Uh, okay. Two twelve. Okay. Uh, Nick, you said you think Keon's gonna win. <laughs> I think most of us are gonna agree with that. Yeah. Yes. So we all got Keon first. Correct. Keon for Justin. Okay. I'll Everyone's put. I'll first. put Nathan. I'll put Nathan in second. Epler? I would too. I mean, Epler was fucking fifth at the Olympia last year, man. Yep. I don't really know who any of the rest of the guys are beside Derek. Is uh, I think Kareth, I think Kareth Bio is going to be in the top five. Is Wardani's good, isn't he? Ahmad Al Wardani, he's pretty good. Where is he? Like six down. Ahmad. Oh, oh, yeah, that's that. I know who that guy is. He looks good. He's good with the really high lats. Uh, Show me. Show me. Is that how you spell it? No, wait. No, dude. Or Donnie, yeah. <laughs> just, yeah, I don't know if it should. Like, just type in Ahmad. Ahmed. Is it A-D or E-D? E-D. E there he is. Yeah, this guy looks really good, man. Oh, this guy. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's always yeah. in the mix. I think Kareth Bio can beat him. Who? Kareth Bio, this guy. Who is that? I don't know who that is. He looks gonna, really good right now. I'm going to show you. He's very. Really, I, I really like his physique. Yeah, he look and he's hard as nails too. Yeah. Why is my fucking computer not working, Gareth? I think it's Bio or Bajo. I don't know how to pronounce it, but he looks Bio? fucking crazy. Legs. That's not great shots. Here, let's take a look at this. Yeah, he's thick, man. Here, these are better. Look at that. That's a thick boy. He's fucking got a ton of muscle. The only reason he didn't win last year, I think he got out conditioned. But if he's got his condition down this year, fuck, man, he's going to be hard to like, other than Keon, I don't know if anybody can beat him. Who's coaching him right now? I'm not sure. I just really like this guy's physique. It's someone we know. Go up to the top and see what, if we tags. It reminds me of like a 212 Akeem. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I think he works with that Justin Miller guy also, doesn't he? I was gonna say is it Justin Miller. Look at that, man. Like that's really well put together. Yeah, thick chest, good thick quads. I think he's good from the back too. Let's see if I can find a back shot somewhere. There's a rear lat right above that you just went past. Oh no, right there. There it is. Here? In the saw. Nope. Down below, right there. Right in the middle. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of too close to really see, but yeah, it's kind of dark and the angle's weird. There's a back double. Back double oh, left. Hotel room. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, not so bad. But I see what you're saying there about him getting out conditioned. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was I remember I just remember him standing out last year. I remember seeing a show and thinking that guy's got really, really good structure. Um but he didn't uh he wasn't conditioned enough to really hold his own against some of these guys. <clears throat> okay, so who's is anybody saying anything for third? Who's going I might see look at Cody Drobot. He looks really good too right now. Yeah, Cody's yeah. fucking sick, he looks awesome. Yeah, Cody looks great. <clears throat> Drobot making out with his girlfriend here. This is pinned. <laughs> nice. Okay, here we go. <laughs> That's a really good shape too, man. Yeah, wait, and his front double is super nice shape as well. Is he going to do something else? or are we just? Oh, no, I think this whole video is just this. This is just a boomerang. Look at his dick shaking. That's weird. <laughs> well, no, it's a video slowly going around, isn't it? Yeah, see. Oh, I thought it was like a... Okay. No, he said his dick is shaking. <laughs> it was shaking. 
a little slight in the hamstrings. Yeah, that's obviously not a great pose for that. We'll go though. That's a slight. There we go. That's what I want to see. Yeah. yeah, it's got a little bit weird. I don't know. I don't think he can beat Kareth yet. No, I don't see it. Not if Kareth is in shape. Depends how big he looks next to him because I think Cody's a decent sized guy. Like he's big yeah. for two twelve, you know. But so is Kareth though, and Kareth yeah. is shorter and shorter and stockier. But this is this is a good physique. I just think Kareth's legs look a little better. It's really going to depend who's in shape, who's in better shape. I think between the two of them. For some reason, every time I see that guy's name on Instagram, I think I call him Keith. Yeah, I think it's Kareth. Yeah. Yeah, these like, are good shots. Sick. What is this? Is this how many weeks out is this? A uh, one week ago, so two weeks out. This is really good, man. It looks yeah. better. Hamstrings are really good. Glutes are good. Back is pretty good. That's a good two week out look for sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, does anybody... that, that kid has the fucking craziest shoulders. <laughs> yeah, did yeah, yeah. 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 I just saw it. Did I was just in Vancouver. Let's take a look at Epler. Are we all we're all in agreement? He's going to be second. Yeah. yeah, dude. I don't think you can underestimate the kid. Why is my fucking? Are you spelling it wrong? No, it's my. It's not that. It's like my uh, connection must be shit or something. I don't know. Uh, this is Epler. Yeah, he looks good. Really nice a little behind for him to me. He's a little <laughs> honestly. He might be a little thin compared to Kareth. Yeah, it, well, he was a taller guy for the two twelve. You I know? remember thinking that last year, but then you get him in the lineup with these guys and. He... Because well, shape is I think it's dude. yeah, I agree. It's the shape is so good it carries him over its side. Yeah, over and he gets, side. And he look gets at cute. that. That's a great shot for him. Yeah. Yeah, I think he definitely. Yeah, I definitely have him in second. Okay. Um, okay, what are you guys saying for third? Anything? Do we want to see anybody else before we make Ditto Shack or take a look at Ditto? Ditto. I don't know if he's posted much though. How long is this? Right out of bed, empty, no water, two days ago. Oh, there you go. He's a little thin, man. He's got great shoulders, but still not big enough, I think, to compare to some of these guys. Yeah, a little still a little narrow. Chest is a little overpowered by those delts. Yeah. yeah. That's still crazy look. Crazy. No, no, it's a great it's look. In good condition, yeah. too. Very yeah. good condition. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Kareth, uh, Ivan, Drobot, Ordani, Epler. I'm not sure if I know any of these other guys. Derek Ricky, Os Derek Ricky Oslin. Ricky Moten's decent, isn't he? Let's take a look. I can't remember who he. Oh yeah, Dor Dorian trains him too. He's got a great physique. He came from Classic. Oh yeah, yeah. This is really impressive. Yeah, yeah, great still, legs. Still not quite big enough. I'm talking big for two twelve though. You don't think so? No. No. <laughs> Not quite dense enough, you know. Well, uh, maybe not. He looks pretty Dude, big. Dude, that's a lot of muscle, man. His legs yeah. look big. Legs look really good. Arms look big. I think he's going to shock some people. I think he's going to be in the top five. All right, hold on a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, what do you? I think he's going to be in the top five for sure. What's his name? Um, Ricky Martin. Yeah, he looks good. So. If we say top five in no in no order, we say Keon, Epler, Wardani, uh, Bio, Martin, and uh, what's his name? Drobot. Drobot, yeah. Oh, and we have to see what's uh, Derek Oslin looking like. Is Derek Oslin doing the show? Yes, yeah. he's on the list. Yeah, he could potentially be in the top five. I like Derek Oslin's physique a lot. He just always kind of just a touch behind condition wise. This is Derek Oslin. Yeah. Uh, and he's always a little bit, he seems like he's always a little bit bigger than some of the other guys too. Conditioning is usually his issue, right? Yeah. Yeah. Conditioning but I mean, look at this, look at this physique. Like it's just oh, great. He's amazing. Yeah. It just needs to just so just get a touch sharper, you know, he's getting shape people. It's not that fucking hard. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at that. That's a fucking really good physique. Yeah, yeah. it's really good. This is gonna be a good 212. I mean, the whole show is good, man. Yeah. Fucking like 45 girls in bikini. No, but I just remember we were talking last week about how 212 isn't like not as many guys are competing. There's a lot okay. of good, there's a lot of good 212 guys in this show. Yeah. Look at this when he's full. 
before he's flattened out for the stage. Like, look at that yeah, fucking good guy. Crazy quads, fucking V yeah. tapers, nuts, X frames, nuts. Okay. Uh, so, would you guys agree that the top five in no particular order, w- unless we we're missing somebody, we didn't because we we don't. Keon, Epler, mm-hmm. Wardani, Bio, Martin, Drobot. That's top six. Yeah, I would agree there. Yeah. Okay. So, do you guys want to place them or no? No, we'll just leave them. Okay. That's fair. I just but wanted... I'm going to still say I have Keon winning the show. Yeah, I, I saw Keon winning. Yeah, I agree with the Keon thing. I think Kareth might be second or Epler might be second. Depends what they look like next to each other. Yeah. I think Epler is going to compare well with Wardani because they both have like a little bit thinner, structurally pretty physiques. Yeah. Martin, I think, is going to be the fucking... Uh, Dark Horse. The wild card because he's kind of got like an in-between physique where it's muscular but still nicely structured. So it's him and Keon could be compared well if he's in the right kind of shape. Could Martin shock, shock everybody? No. I mean, no, yeah. listen, if he's second, that shocks everybody. I don't think he'll be second. I think he can be top five, but I don't think he can be higher than third. Yeah, I could say that. Well, I'm glad we covered it. Listen, we're a bodybuilding show first, so I want to make sure we, we still cover some of that shit. Okay, on to figure. Next class. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So to- Vince physique, classic physique. We're just getting started. On to dick and shit talk. <laughs> yeah, anybody, anybody, anybody got any anybody, Dick. anybody got any good Dick. sex talk? Yeah. Nick, you want to tell us how your sex life has been? Nope. <laughs> Come on, Nick. Justin, care to share? Uh uh. Uh-uh. I'll no? share. What do you want to share? What'd you do? Any, lots anything of sex since Vancouver. anything special this week? Have you? Oh have yeah. You, have you done anything special though? Oh, actually, I gotta tell a really funny story here. <laughs> okay. I'm I'm hesitant to tell this because it's okay. <laughs> If you're my mother, because I know my mom probably watches this, tap out now and come back in like four minutes. Because this story is not this story is not for you. Okay. So when I was in Vancouver. I hope Melissa can't. Melissa's on the phone with her mom, so I don't want her mom hearing this. Either. Okay, so when we were in I was in Vancouver. Um, this was the night before the show. So Friday, Saturday night, because the show was on a Sunday. So I already had on two hand coats of tan I'd done, and I'd been sprayed once. Yeah. But before, like I'd been, after I got my last spray, I baby powdered myself up really nice. So I didn't feel like tacky at all. Yeah. Um, so I did, I completely forgot I had my tan on. Like I was like laying in bed and I completely forgot. And Melissa and I get texted in a little frisky, you know? Wait, and wait, she, wait, wait, wait. Sorry. Time out. Time out. So you're, I forgot you're Vancouver by yourself. This is after yeah. prejudging? Oh. No, no. This is the day before the show. Okay. Sorry. Go on. The night before. So I already have three quarters of my tan on. Yeah. I just got home from doing my night tan on the Saturday, the day before the show. Yeah. And I've, I've eaten and Julian and them are sleeping or laying down and I'm laying in my bedroom, in my bed, door closed. <laughs> we, we start texting, getting a little frisky here, you know, and then videos start getting exchanged here. <laughs> <laughs> and I completely forgot I had my tan on. So I'm, I'm pants down, shirt off. Oh, and I no. just busted on myself. Oh, dude. completely you forgetting your whole tan. Tan. <laughs> so then i i get up and stand up to like go clean myself off and then i just have like it looks like i literally just pissed all over myself just tan is just white fuck everywhere oh, God. i'm like i'm li- and i'm texting Melissa. i'm like laugh my ass off i literally forgot i have my tan on and then sent her a picture <laughs> of it you know so what the fuck okay first of all how do you have any sexual like the day before a show oh i feel great man i never have i always feel like that yeah, I'm never, I'm never shooting loads the day before. See, but I take, I take no. almost, I take very little to no AI. So, like, I don't, I don't ever feel oh, like super shut down. I load up on the AIs. Nick, how long before <laughs> dick, a show? Dick do don't you, work. <laughs> how long before a show do you shut your dick off? How long before? <laughs> yeah, I turned my dick off in about three weeks. <laughs> my my dick's off probably around four to five. Yeah. Well, I never like. I'm more like sometimes when I get in prep, I'll be tired and I just like don't even think about it. But like yeah. I'm always still. If it's initiating, like if she starts texting me frisky, like fuck, I'm I'm go time, you know. See, texting me, I don't, I don't, I don't know. But texting like, will I, do I, it. Texting, texting if I happens. see that, I'll just put my phone down. Like, like Justin, like, if your wife, if you're, if you, well, well, forgive me if I don't want to say anything detailed because your wife. But if she, if she, if she starts <laughs> sucking my dick. <laughs> It's that's morning. what i was gonna say yeah, no question <laughs> for sure three weeks out yeah. one day out yeah no problem yeah. 
Yeah, but texting would a day out from a show, I wouldn't even be sexting. I'd be like, was, fuck out of here, man. It was videos. Yeah. Good well, videos. That's a good okay. wife. <laughs> day before good day videos. before a show, I'm gonna send you. I'll show you the videos once <laughs> I <laughs> oh, <God>. Okay. <laughs> Second question. So how wait, the fuck, that, how the fuck did you fix your tan? Well, because I had done two hand coats at my Airbnb, I had pro tan there oh, okay. and a puff. Oh. So I just went in there and I just like you know, I dried myself off and then I I shut your cum stains. <laughs> yeah. I took the puff and kind of just like buffed it out and then I just sprayed a bunch on the puff and just like and I made it look perfect. It took like two seconds. It wasn't even bad at all. It was just hilarious that I literally I wonder how many guys I wonder how many guys actually fuck or jerk off or anything the day before a show. It's I, like the first time I fucking heard that in my thirty years or twenty five years of bodybuilding. Yeah. You're the first guy. But then again, I don't really share these stories with everybody. So it could be a lot of people. And I just usually, don't know. I don't, usually if I'm full in tan, we would never have sex the day before a show. That's where I thought the story was going. And then I forgot you were by yourself. Oh, yeah, she wasn't with me. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I got grossed out as soon as I found out you were by yourself. I was like, oh, where's this going? <laughs> he was all excited. He's going to have some spank bank material. Yeah, yeah, nice. <laughs> that's where, that's where we're at. <laughs> I'll send you the videos. I'll send you the videos. <laughs> no, okay. You have no shame, dude. You just don't I'm give kidding. a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was, I mean, the, the second it happened, like, I fucking was texting Melissa. I was, like, dying laughing. I'm like, yo, I literally picture, completely like... forgot. Completely forgot, you know? You know, it's still good, though, that you've been married for X amount of years. You're still fucking sexting. Well, it's, yeah, funny. Right. it's funny, actually. That's new for us. Yeah, but that's the good thing. That's the yeah. good part. We only developed this, like, new in the last year doing that kind of stuff. Do you sex when you're at home? Uh, yeah, sometimes. Like, say, say maybe I wake up. And like if she's got up before me yeah and she's out of the bedroom and i'm still bet i'll wake up and be like yeah get in that's, here, like, that's what i do there. too yeah oh no, yeah. wait do you say get in here or do you say oh no, right? like I'll, I'll work into that you know i don't do that i want to pretend we're not in the same house oh no because i want i want to coax her into coming back up there and you know no i want to pretend that she's not there well, you you have a little bit different fantasies than the rest of us. <laughs> yeah, we we, know, we, already know, we already know this. <laughs> I just want to get her frisky to come have sex with me. You're trying to, have a, you're trying to let her fantasy land. I just, I just send a pic of my brother. <laughs> Put it out there. Yeah. Come here, Nick. <laughs> ready? Do you ever sex at home or no? Me? No. At I home? Nick. I said Nick. No. Oh. I mean, yeah, I, just, I would more like text, like just be like, "Come sit on my face." You're still too. <laughs> you're still too new, though. You're not gonna sex yet. You're like fucking four months in or so, whatever. Five months in. This distant relationship. I mean, like far apart. Yeah, yeah. but if yeah. we're together, not really. Nah. Yeah, but I think the longer you're, I'll just be like the more that. Hey! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think it's longer. Look, me, we didn't start doing stuff like this until we've been together for ten years. You know? Yeah, yeah, right. Justin, what about you? You guys do that or no? Not at home. No? If I'm out and about, if I'm traveling, yeah. What about when you build your new house and it's like 5,000 square feet and you're like in a different part of the house? Are you going to pretend <laughs> like she's gone? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Go on, like, you know, when you have like the intercoms throughout the house, you're like, <laughs> walk to the door of the bed. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, we're going to have, have, we're gonna have, we're gonna have soup cans and a string. Yeah. She's gonna be like, hello. No, no, seriously. <laughs> listen. Pussy up here. <laughs> no, seriously. When you're, when you're, <laughs> when you build your new home and it's giant because you're like Pablo Escobar. And you're in one side of the house. Are you going to like pretend she's not home? Or are you going to be like, just come to the other side of the house? I don't think I'm going to pretend she's not home. I think you will. <laughs> I think you will. Should I pretend like I'm the lawn maintenance guy? <laughs> yes. And I'll see you in Spanish. There's some weeds in the backyard. They need I some. This is Hector. I'm here to do your lawn. The grass is keeps, he keeps growing. I don't know. Come here. <laughs> oh, how about you come in for some lemonade? <laughs> yeah. It's hot. It's hot outside. I could use some water. <laughs> What the fuck? Where did that come from? I had no idea you could do such a good fucking Mexican accent. I, was I have Mexican employees. I get I got pretty good at it. <laughs> oh, that's why. We got a little bit of uh, blowback from last week's episode. What? What did you guys do last week? I don't know. I said that like I was part of it. Apparently, we <laughs> offended a whole bunch of different groups of people. Was I on this one? Yeah, it was me, you, Nick, and Guy. What, what people did we go to? I don't know. A woman, a woman commented and said we were all very disrespectful. What? what did I, don't, say? I don't remember what we said that was bad about women. <laughs> well, people are going to love my All I remember is Mexican the hour debate accent. between you and Pua. Or <laughs> you and him. Yeah, so that was, and then it was a black guy that commented and said something about us being, uh, 
I don't know, I think he said borderline racist or border. And I'm like, what? Well, borderline's oh, okay. We're not racist. We're just borderline. Yeah, borderline's fine. <laughs> and just as I said in my comment on the buys and tries, I'm the most inclusive motherfucker in the planet. They can't even try this shit on me. You're not really inclusive. You're Dude, gay. I, I, love, I love black women. I love Asian bodybuilders. I love fat people. But you I shit on people. you shit on Middle Eastern people and Brazilian people. Uh, well, I shit on a uh, Middle Eastern and a uh, Brazilian. Oh. Oh. I said as a collective, I like black women. So we're we're being much more inclusive here. I'm being very. But that's sexually, sexually you're, you're, but fetish. that's yeah, yeah, that's a fetish. That's that's different. No. You're objectifying. That's the meaning. Yeah, you're yeah. objectifying. I, I, I'm saying I like them as people as well, not just sexually, you fucking bastard. How <laughs> dare you? That's a little harsh. <laughs> you fucking bastard. You fucking bastard. If, I'm so inclusive. <laughs> what is a bad... Uh, I'm a gay what, rights activist in this world now. What is, <laughs> yeah, what is the definition of a bastard? Um, someone that's born where their parents were out of wedlock. Yeah, yeah. So it's not just not having a dad. No, it's that your mother and father are not married when you're born. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just want to make sure. Yeah. Um, so you're not a bastard. No. Yeah. So uh, I feel bad that we offended people. And I think there were some trans people that were mad. What did we say about trans? What did you guys talk about? Well, because we said, I said, the, I said, the maybe term, don't rehash it. But. Well, no, I just said, I don't, this I don't mind. I, I said the term chest feeding. Is uh, really is really fucking irritating because it should be breastfeeding because yeah. a man can't breastfeed. Oh, they say chest, that's a thing. The thing, the new thing now is they have, have to say chest feeding, not breastfeeding. Yeah, that's bullshit. Right. At, the day, right. at the end of the day, we have no problem with anybody or any group or anything. If we say something that comes out as offensive, the problem's on you, not us. Is it now called chest milk? <laughs> well, you know what this, this. You know what the weird part about yeah. it is. Men have breasts as well. They're just smaller, so yeah. you could have still kept on calling it breastfeeding. It would have made a difference. Yeah. No, get fucked, dude. That's so stupid. Yeah. Well, anyway, so we, we brought up a couple things like that, and I think some people got mad, but well, we don't need to apologize. Really to I'm not apolog I'm not apologizing. I don't like uh, I don't like upsetting people for no reason, but yeah, of course. But I, I'm not changing my opinion. I'm just saying like it's kind of sucks. Nobody in, in intent it. matters, and you never you didn't have any no. you know malicious intent. We never do. Yeah. yeah. This is a comedy show, guys. Come on. Yeah, don't be sensitive. Yeah, well, that's what I said back. I said, listen, we all rip on each other more than anything else. Are so, you going to smoke a cigar? Are you going to, like, circumcise a baby with that? Thing? No, I just, just <laughs> fucking fucking around with it. Um, okay, let's do some questions. You're going to circumcise a baby. <laughs> Are we going, we're going to have to go to Cheesecake Factory on Saturday. Yeah, Nick, you can go line up two hours. Are we, we, are we all going to get together Saturday night? Yeah. We're going to get together all weekend. Why not? Well, yeah. What are you going to do, hang out by yourself? Well, I was hoping to have one night by myself, at least. What do you mean? You're all going for two nights. Kidding. I'm kidding. So we can, so I don't we want a night by myself. So we can jerk off and come all over his own pants. I want to come all over myself. I want to <laughs> text to, to my wife in Spanish and <laughs> watch in the next room. Uh-huh. Uh, okay. Okay, mom, you can come back now. <laughs> uh, nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. Uh, who has a higher ceiling, Quentin or Andrew Jacked? That's a good comparison. Oof. Andrew. I'm not sure about mm-hmm. that, man. Mm-mm. I Look. Quentin okay. has a highest I'm, ceiling. I'm, I'm almost hesitant to say this because everyone likes to take things I say. To... Andrew Jack is very, very impressive, but I think he's getting put in a position where people are, are hyping him up too much, and I don't want people to then be disappointed when he's placed where he should have and not where they expected him to based off false realizations you know yeah, but that happens all the time it does and look i and i just don't hope that doesn't discourage anyone from thinking he is as good as a bodybuilder as they think he is just maybe not yet you know listen the thing that casual fans need to understand is you never ever tell how good somebody is until they're actually standing in a lineup yes oh, yeah. next to you can never everybody looks good by themselves at this yeah. level well so, and i think a lot of people don't understand the fine intricacies of bodybuilding and they look at a silhouette that is very pretty and look this guy standing relaxed is like Flex Wheeler type shit. It's so impressive. But if you look at the physique as a whole, <laughs> there still is more gaps than you can pick out in someone like Quinton's physique. I agree. I think, tall, he looks he looks quite tall, yeah? Yeah. He's like but 280 I, or 290 or something. So my the reason I'm saying Quinton is because Quinton has such a wide structure that I still feel like he could put on another 20 pounds of muscle and it still wouldn't look bad on him. Yeah, right. Like he definitely oh, has... Yeah. I think Quinton has... 
this is such a far stretch, and I know I'm going to get roasted for saying it, but I don't give a fuck. Quinton has Ronnie Coleman potential, in my opinion. I agree. Like, if he could put on that kind of mass, he's one person I could see being that special of a bodybuilder if he could get that kind of muscle on his frame. Yeah, not everybody can wear that kind of muscle around. No, That's like, what I'm saying. There's also some things, in, and like I said, I still think he's incredible and probably has a way higher ceiling than I'll ever have. But on Andrew, you know, when you look at his physique, like if, if you want to pull up the thing, you can still see some things that are going to give him problems in an Olympia level or a top level lineup, like the detail and the shape of his quads, his hamstring and glute detail. Like there is still some things that well, are, are going to be difficult for him at top, top level shows. I just started looking at him recently. I actually, I like, I've heard about him, but I just started looking at him recently. I'd only seen him because I, I watched him at a Larry Wheels YouTube and I'd seen him on there. So the one thing I noticed was from the front, he's absolutely perfect. Well, I think his quads are going to be an issue for him though. You think so? Yeah. What's wrong with his quads? We'll watch this one there, but I think like from straight on. I'm gonna I'm trying to find some other photos. I just no, there's and I, and I'm not I'm not saying you're wrong. I just don't know. There's a brand new posing video. Go up and go to the tag. Uh tagged. There. This one. Yeah, there you go. Oh no, that's is just the back, but just one sec, it's good enough. Uh but this is what I was gonna say. So his back, when I look at it, it's got great shape, but, but there's still that thick skin and lack yeah. of detail a little bit. And I'm not look at people have to be careful because when i say things i'm talking about top 10 olympia like because yeah, that's we're where, talking about comparing this to win yeah. olympias not because that's because that's where people are because that's where people are putting him this so is an incredible incredible bodybuilder we're looking at him in that lens yeah so when i look at that i'm like legs hamstring. look phenomenal hamstrings can use a little work still not a lot of detail in the yeah. hamstring. i don't know if that's just conditioning now or if there's any there at all well i mean we, he you've guys seen the stage shots from the the arnold amateur yeah so when I look at I just feel like there's more hamstring, more back is needed. Yeah, more leg from the side for sure, but especially hamstring and glute. Yeah. Chest is ridiculous. Mid-sec, like this standing silhouette. But see, then I think his quads. The, so I don't see a problem quad. with his quads. Huh? I don't see a problem with his quads. No, it's something about maybe his right quad or something. Like the, It seems like there's just like one line and there's a lot of missing detail at the top of that right quad or left quad. Here? He's got a pretty good amount of sleep to him. Yeah. I, I think his quads look pretty good. Maybe like just, in relation in relation to the rest of his physique, you know, you get that nice sweep and then it comes into a small waist. Something about the detail, like the the, the type of detail on those legs looks. He's got them uh, them Kai Green fucking wrists. Yeah, man, Kai he's got joints. I think mm -hmm. if he can develop his back, he's really going to be dangerous. So you don't see that in that right quad? No, uh, uh, these this is good separation to me. Okay, well, it's That's better in the left than it is the right. Yeah. No. Well, I, you guys are looking at different. You guys are looking at. It. First of all, it's not a dead-on angle, and yeah. the light, the lighting is a little bit brighter on one side. Than maybe, it's, maybe it's just how I'm looking at it, but yeah, or I'm overlooking at them. Because when you say it, and I actually look, I'm like, okay, no, the separation looks good. But something when I see his pictures of his quads, I just look at them. I'm like, something's a little off with them. This is where I see an issue. So from the side, he right, definitely right. a little bit more in the quad, but definitely a lot more in the hamstring. Well, think about think of us just looking at Akeem's side leg compared to that. You know. Yeah, yeah. The hamstring oh. is definitely. A uh, little bit lagging behind, uh, but yeah, it, he's still absolutely totally impressive. I just oh, like, nuts. like I said, we're looking at him from a yeah. from a top ten Olympian oh. uh, perspective. And the other thing is, uh, Crizo is now is he a pro no. now? How did he no. get his pro? No. Card? This fucking guy, <laughs> Nick. Don't be oh. mad. We got to look at him, man. He's the new talk of the town. He ain't shit. I just can't get by his <laughs> his neck is so long, you, Nick. <laughs> Why is his neck yeah, so yeah. long? <laughs> I think it's he has a long guys. neck and a tiny little head. Look at the difference in the length of his neck compared to everybody else's standing there. I don't think they're gonna <laughs> compare, gonna judge him on his neck. Well, I, I know think... they're not, and I'm not. I just this is a, like, come on. No, I'm just, what's the matter, Nick? Tell me. Head neck. It's it's shit. Turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> He's a gigantic set of arms, and that's really the only thing that is super. Yeah, he's got he's got fucking great arms. He's got good he's got quads. Cannons. He's got cannons, no doubt. He's got a big chest. There's big, yeah, that's him posing with Weinberger. <laughs> but he doesn't have a great back, I don't believe, right? No, he does back, no back, back is no glutes, no his glutes are, his glutes are really small. His yeah, back is definitely the issue. Other than that, he's I think never he's trained his butt once. He has his big <laughs> arms. But like, I mean, that's like saying like, it's like Nick with only his arms, you know? I think it's a little harsh. 
I'm going to disagree with you No, no, no. I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying, like, Nick has a very complete – that, is, to me, is just standout arms, you know? I don't see that. I, when I look at him, I think, other than his back – uh, I don't remember what his glutes and hams look like, so forgive me. But other than his back, I thought I think he looks pretty good. Well, he yeah. looks excellent. I don't think he looked bad. I think he looks great, but I don't think. No, no. But I'm saying in top ten Olympia standards, I don't remember what his back looks like. I know it's no, it's not great. He'll have yeah, he'll have trouble from from, from the, the fr- from the front. He looks sure. like top ten Olympia standards. Yeah, he can stand. He can stand with most guys from the front, definitely. Nick, you don't think he's a top ten Olympian? You don't I, think? I, wait I, a minute, Nick. That, wait, wait, wait. I, I want to ask you a direct question, Nick. From the front only, do you think he could be 10th or better at the Olympia? 10th if he's lucky. It's like, I, can't see, I can't see him ever beating Samson, you know? No. No. Oh, I didn't say he could beat Samson, but Samson might be as high as fucking fifth. Samson's fucking incredible, dude. Yeah. Samson is Samson's really going good. This is this year. No, but people are talking about Andrew Jack and Crizzo as if they're going to come into the body of the pro league and win the Olympia this year. You know, that's only yeah. because Sam's, that's only because Samson is from the UK and he's also very quiet. But Samson is a fucking freak. Oh my god! Dude. When I saw him in person in Orlando, and in I never person, it is person. fucking preposterous. Look at this. It's this is so three hundred. This is person. just for people watching. This is three hundred and twenty pounds. Yeah. P- okay. P- this doesn't do the actual it's, size of his frame justice at but all. Wait no, a second. Not at all. Look, can you guys actually? This is three hundred and twenty fucking pounds. Well, I right. Guess, and he's like, and, and he's like under ten percent body fat. People don't get that though. The number doesn't mean anything. Like if people were to stand next to this guy in the gym. Or like they would, they would shit themselves. You know. I felt so fucking insignificant standing next to Samson. Yeah. <laughs> right, Nick. I mean, what the fuck? Look at this. It's Samson just crazy. Is a, he's a big boy. He's a really big structural, like structurally, he's just really big. You know. Yeah, he is. Gigantic. Yeah. I can't wait to see him at the Olympia. It's going to be fucking nuts. Yeah. Yeah. You want to talk about a ceiling like that? This dude could fucking do whatever. I think if Samson could bring up his back a little bit more. And his maybe his hamstrings, he could really, really. And, uh, the limitation for most of these guys really comes down to their conditioning, to be honest. I don't yeah. know if that's true. Uh, I don't know if that's true, Ian. Not everybody has uh, potential to be a no, Mr. No, but the guys, the guys, no, no, but listen to what I'm saying. The guys we've talked about, I'm, I'm not saying everyone. I'm saying him, Quinton. Oh, I'm, yeah, the guys we talked about, Ian, yeah. Andrew Jack, Crizzo, yeah. I'm, all these guys we've talked about, really the thing that comes down to them being, like, elite or not is most of these guys have honestly been slightly inconsistent or subpar with conditioning. I don't think that's true. Because, to be honest, no, right. no, listen, listen, it's not conditioning. For oh, but Sam- but the, the thing I'm saying is that it, do you would disagree that they are 50-50 and, and, and slightly – inconsistent with conditioning all those guys but i don't when i look at them that's not the thing i answer that question that's just the question i'm asking uh yeah they've all been consistent you're right but but that's that's that's, yeah that's that's 100 true yes i'm just saying when i look at them and i think how could this person be the next mr olympia or next sure yeah they all have they're all actually lagging it back they're all the same samson could use a bigger back Crizo could use a bigger back jack andrew jack could use a bigger back they're, Quentin could use a bigger back. They're all have exactly the same problem. You know, and the sad part is that these guys will miss big body parts like that. And then I get shit on because I don't have great calves. Yeah. But okay. Can I explain something to you? Ian? <laughs> you have, it's just because you have such a polarizing personality. Yeah. No, I understand. hundred yeah. percent. Right. It's kind of like this. So we come out and, I, and I'm not saying this to plug my products, but I'm just saying this. So we come up with plug away. No, 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 I'm not. This. I'm not plugging. This isn't a plug. I'm just using an example. So anyway, with hostility, best pre workout. Shut up for a second. Three grams, so, of, citrine, three grams of beer. <laughs> no, no. So we come out with Bloodshot. We load it with like thirty fucking grams of product of of highly dosed fucking ingredients. Yeah. Okay. We put three grams of creatine because it was kind of like just to add like a little bit of spice, right? Yeah. And people are like, "Oh, there's only three grams of creatine. Shit." Yeah, I mean, it's like, been it's, I'm like there's there's 34 grams in a fucking scoop, man. Yeah, creatine powder is like literally the cheapest product ever. Go buy it and throw five grams in. Big deal. No, like so. Anyway, my point I'm trying to make is great creatine monohydrate. Yeah, we sell yeah. creatine monohydrate. Well, then fucking buy that, you cheap bastard. Come on. So, so my point is just that when you have people that are like no, an, yeah. anti you, they're like, oh look at his calves because they can't find anything else. Yeah. So it's like you know you do have really little calves though. <laughs> yeah, they're not great. <laughs> 
Go to my profile. Oh, come on. We're not come gonna on. Have you guys seen my cat? I'm sorry, I, I started it. I started it. <laughs> we're not we're not going to your profile. You should go to um, mine. My calves are great. <laughs> it's your best body. It's your best body part. Five inch quads. Okay, that's your, all the problem is. Your body. It is your best body part, isn't it? <laughs> Probably that and like my fucking forearms or something. <laughs> no, seriously though, if you had to like, if you had to have an Olympia body part that we had to pick off your body right now. Oh it would god, be, it would be calves. your calves. Yeah, probably. Why are you disappointed yeah. by that? Because that's a pretty lame thing. It's like your claim to fame is fucking killer calves. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing they don't judge or give Man, a shit in about. That, in that breath, shouldn't it be equally as lame for my like one missing thing to be calves to be like a big deal? Yeah, but because they don't like you, they pick at it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, just for everyone to know that watches this and maybe doesn't like me, it doesn't offend me to tell me I have small calves. Like obviously I. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> and, and, I, and I have other good body parts. Well, sit here and joke Wait, about it all the time. Wait, I knew that was coming. You're such, you're so fucking insecure, man. I knew that you're gonna fucking text me after and be like, "Come like, on, do man." Do you really mean that's all I got? <laughs> that's not what I said. Like, Nick, like why? I said if me? I said if today, best body had, part. <laughs> I said if today, right now, you yeah. had to compare one of your body parts to somebody in the top five at the Olympia. The like only one that would right of the calves, baby. The I'm only one that would off. compare is the calves. <laughs> what? You, know what what? Sad, you know what the kind of sad thing is, though. Holy Nothing shit. else would compare. Is that <laughs> me? Is that me? <laughs> okay, wait. Tell me what. Other, okay, to, I'll take your word for it. Tell me what. Like a, was, I feel like my arms world. would compare. Your yeah. arms? You got good, yeah. like nice yeah. high rat insertions too. That like look 20, 22 inch arms. They would compare. They wouldn't blow anybody away, but they would compare. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Is there anything else? Hey, you know, you know what's funny though? I, I haven't trained my calves in like years. Hey, wait a minute. Just just so people at home know I'm not a total asshole. At my best, there was probably not one body part that was better than somebody in the top five at the Olympia. So right. I'm not shitting on you only. That's a yeah, very you could, high you could throw my calves in that top five lineup. And that's what I'm fun. saying. Like that's a very high bar to set, man. Not a lot of people could say I have a body part that no, they're pretty they're pretty everybody high, high level calves. Ian, do you have a body part that beats everybody in the top five? No, or- I Nothing. Are think you being an asshole or are you being serious? No, like think. Like if you think of just me as Kaz, if you think of Nick, you'd be like his arms. I yeah. don't really think I have like one like super duper standout part. It's kind of yeah. all like you it's know? a combination of everything. Yeah. Yeah. Like I mean, I have like very good quads, I have good hamstrings, I have good yeah. glutes, I have a good back, I have like okay arms and delts. Like I'm kind of just like, man, you know. That's what I I'm trying to say. I've I have look at my quarter turns, I put my waistline on on up there with anybody's. Your quarter turn will match up with anybody's you got a good in the top waist? five. Yeah. No, no, no. It's true. Ian's quarter turns will match up with anybody's in the top five. I, I agree with that. that. I agree with that. No doubt. Yeah. So, see what I mean, Justin? It's not easy to be know. like, right. you know. So don't don't take it so personal. It just, it's just your delivery. <laughs> but that's always the thing with me is my delivery is. Well, you, have, you have better calves than Dexter, and he won the Olympia. So. <laughs> well, it's not. You have better calves than Ronnie. Yeah. 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 All right. I mean, who could say? Uh, how many people could say? Had a better body part than Ronnie Cohen. Yeah, I have I'm, none. I have yeah. none. Literally none. Like that hurts my feelings. Yeah, me either. <laughs> Nick, do you have any better body parts than Ronnie Coleman? I think Nick's arms. No. I think Nick's arms are better. Nope. I think so. Cool. Do you have any body parts better than Ronnie Coleman? I already yeah. said no. I already said no. Right my arms are lethal weapons. Okay. Yeah, Nick's arms are fucking preposterous. Yeah. But I would Ronnie's but Ronnie's split arms against anyone's. Yeah. I have a split. Show me. It's, it's covered by fat right now, but <laughs> let, me, let me diet down right now. Talk to me in 19 weeks. Yeah. Okay, yeah, Nick's, yeah. Nick's arms, potentially. I'll give like, you guys well, a Ronnie he does have those. Well. Ronnie has those freaky, like, peaky, fucking, like, old man, biceps. Like, green biceps where they're like, they're like yeah, they're all short, short head. Yeah. Sharp fucking base. Are you, guys act- are you guys shitting on Ronnie Coleman's arms right now, really? No, they're crazy. It's just that a, a very yeah. different, it's a very different style. It's, of like, arms. A small, it's like a small peak. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's why it looks so good. Yes, I got, I got big peaks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I think Nick's triceps are a little too much. Really. I got I got mountain tops. Yeah, I don't think it's the biceps. I think it's the triceps that Nick's got. Yeah, yeah, Nick's triceps are just gigantic. Because Ronnie's triceps were very thin. They weren't like, even though they were thick, they were like yeah, the see, tricep I got, itself. I got, the I got, I got the yeah. tri and the bottom. Pull up Ronnie Coleman's side tricep just so we can see here. Uh, okay. It's like his worst pose, but it shows his arms the best. You got to show mine too. And then I want to see mine. 
<laughs> we don't need to look at my triceps. Okay. Let's see. Can I find a side shot in here somewhere? Just you should have taken a side triceps. Look at these fucking peaks. I would put Nick's arms against that. Yeah, me too. But the Just detail. Like, yeah, bro. Like, look, I think his standing arms with the fucking wacky veins and shit, obviously in a black and white photo, look this like cool as fuck, but. Yeah. But like there, front double. Look at that. Yeah, I would put Nick's yeah. arms against that. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah, there's another one. Up, up, up. I'm yeah, surprised you don't agree with that. What? Yeah, I'm a little offended, so bad. Oh, that's fake. That's fake. <laughs> There, no, there's a backstage one there. Right, Nick, there. you can't be offended. He's the best bodybuilder ah, ever. Come on, Nick's arm. Look at it. Look at the size of the bicep. Nick's Are you arm crazy. Look at the detail. No, it's, it's fucking. Like, it's amazing. They're fucking. But it is split. a shit. He does have a very like uh, short insertion. You know what I mean? So what? I think compared uh, to Nick's, Nick has a bigger bicep. Since right, when, does, cool, a, cool, cool, since cool, when does a longer cool. insertion make a better bicep? I prefer Kevin, Kevin Lavroni had fucking long biceps, but they weren't as. A, Impressive as Ronnie's. Well, well Nick's arm and compare it. We're talking about we're talking about me, not Kevin. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait, I'm trying to find. A, I want to find a side tricep first. Stay, stay on topic. <laughs> <laughs> I love getting Nick going. All right. Yeah. See, like. Mine's better. <laughs> That's really impressive. Mine's better. Well, obviously it's impressive. He's the fucking greatest bodybuilder in history. That's what I'm saying. He's the greatest ever. No, he... he's a fool. Nick's arm. Look at his calves, crazy. though. Come on, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see, take a look at. Well, no, go to his Instagram. Shut up. We got it right here. Boom. Yeah, man, that's crazy. Yeah, but it, it, there's no detail. Because well, off season, awesome. you piece of shit. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's closer to showtime. No, that's that's like that's old as shit. Bro. All right, there's the fucking New York. That's yeah, pretty good. I think, I think Nick's size and thickness is overwhelming. You know. Yeah. Let's take a look. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, no, I didn't say all that. <laughs> uh, oh wait here we go oh there no there's a new york pro front double go down where no keep going oh no uh, there's i thought there was an alone one where is it oh there on the left bottom left with jay there yeah that's the arnold yeah yeah i mean that's that's a crazy arm man i mean he's beating jay's arms clearly and I think they're better than that right now. Just watching Nick do a bicep curl in person is some one of the craziest things. Yeah. Not to suck your dick, Nick, but that it is crazy. I'll give, I'll give the arm detail. I'll give the arm. I'll give the arm detail to Ronnie, but I'll give the overall size <laughs> and impressiveness to Nick. How many shows are going to pick up this debate? <laughs> yeah, I mean, apparently, apparently we're late to the fucking party here. Look at this. Yeah, I know. Everybody's already done it. Yeah. All right. All right. Next question. Okay, Nick. Wait. So did I win? Yes, you have the greatest arm. You won. You won. I have the, the, better. I have the. I have the best calves of all time. Wait yeah. a minute. We didn't say he's the greatest arms in history. What about Phil Heath? Hmm. I think Knicks are bigger. Knicks are definitely bigger. Yeah. Wait a minute. But but who has most impressive arms? I'm gonna have to give that one to Phil. Yeah, yeah. I, I we're not saying they're better. Phil's arms are pretty impressive. <laughs> Nick's upset. <laughs> That's tough. Come on, Nick. Like, even like if you look at like Phil's arms in like back. a side. I'm adding I'm adding an arm day back in now. <laughs> right, Saturday no, arm day. Phil's, Phil's arms in a side chest is like fucking freaky looking. Saturday arm day. <laughs> Tradition. So in this pose, I mean yeah, he's off not, he's not, off not, season. Not here. Yeah. But it's then, just that his triceps are ridiculous, Nick. Yeah, his triceps are fucking nuts. Yeah. I mean okay. when you look at a front double, I think I could go with Nick. I but, yeah. but in a side shot, it's like the triceps are just Sorry. crazy. It does got very good triceps. <laughs> it's just the shape. It's that Kevin Lavrone like bubbly side try, yeah. you know. No, he's got really good triceps. 
Yeah, like the arm just fucking. Jeez. And look how the, the bicep is so long that insertion. This is like his. Yeah, first, this, is, this is like his first show, and look how big his arm is. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I, I'm gonna do arm day from now on. Yeah, look at that. They're just really full, like it's so. Just full. The, it's, it's because the tricep is so fucking big. Yeah. Because the biceps aren't. Oh, that's fake. <laughs> the biceps are very long, though. He, his arms remind me a lot of Kevin Lavroni's. But bigger. Yes. But look at that. Like, that's really impressive. Like that walking silhouette there. Bottom, yeah, look at the arms there. Yeah, it's all tricep, man. Oh, yeah, they're just gigantic triceps. Yeah, it's the same as Kevin. Yeah. All right. So you got some work to do, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> don't fucking, don't be like that. We're just fucking around. You're not playing the greatest arms of all time. I, I don't take it serious. You know that. Uh, you guys think Roly is done? Yes. Um, yeah, kind of. Knee sleeves or knee wraps? Sleeves. Sleeves. Neither. Well, wraps. What, are you, what are you doing? Well, squatting. Uh, yeah, I mean, fuck, I guess it matters. I use knee wraps on my heaviest sets, like probably twice in a leg workout. Yes. So if you're doing like a squat, heavy squat set under eight, I would put wraps. If you're yeah. doing anything else training wise, sleeves are better, more comfortable, easier. Yes. Really? I, 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 use, my, I use knee wraps when I do uh, like a really, really heavy set of hack squats too, though. Yeah. Or leg press you use. Yeah. Sure. Even how, how heavy, like how many reps are you going on a heavy hack squat or leg press? I'll get into like a six or eight. If okay. I, get a, yeah, I would, yeah. I would never do that. So I don't know. So, I haven't done a six rep on a hack and or a leg press. Definitely not a leg time, press. Leg press is a yeah. six rep on a leg press is scary in my no, opinion. No, 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 not a six rep on a leg press. On a hack squat, the last heavy leg workout I did, I think I did eight reps. And I I had knee wraps on. I could yeah. see dipping into an eight, but below that I don't Man, know. I have, look at at 43 years old, it depends on your age too. Like at 43 years old with seven plates on a hack squat, I'm putting fucking knee wraps on. Yeah. Oh, for yeah. sure. You know yeah. what I mean? I put these so, on to do that every time, but I what I still I don't think I would do hack squats many times less than I don't use anything. Yeah, I, I don't train like, I don't train like, legs and low reps like that at all. Nick, I feel like you've conditioned. I usually do one exercise, low reps like that. But Nick, I feel like you've conditioned your body to handle it because of the way you've trained for so long. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah I, I used have... no. See, I used to use all the reps. Oh, I you used did. To feel, I used to I feel did. like I had to. Wait, so like, I, actually. I, I, Sorry, the first, this is the first off season that I, I, I use no elbow wraps, sleeve, like nothing for my okay, knees. Okay, so nothing. wait a minute, Nick. So when did you start using all the gear, like knee wraps and elbow sleeves and all that? And then when did you stop? Oh, I've been using that since I, I started, technically. Tra why, like, why, really? did you, why did you stop then? Um, okay, it's funny. I just didn't want to put them on. <laughs> 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 and then you felt like you, and then you just didn't need them. So I just said, fuck it, I'm just going to do it. And then I just never, I just, my knees don't really hurt. My elbows don't really hurt. And like, so I'm good. And I think the fact that I get daily massage work every week helps with all that as well. So I, I think it's, I think it's the way you train. It that really, that really slow, that really slow delivery. Oh, sure it does. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's Nick's control of change of direction. I think. I agree with that. It's the intent of like, there's no, no bouncing there's or no spring shift or it's like very like boom 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 control at change in direction there's know? no inertia yeah it's no inertia way. and that's really what i think does your fucking joints and shit the, the most like if know? i don't really like pause or slow down on a press my elbows hurt 100 well I you know, yeah. controlling change in direction is so important and that's i think one of the reasons why nick's training looks so good is because his control in those zones is so precise you know yeah so i just had a i just did a podcast today with christian thibodeau who's like a strength and condition coach i know who he is and we were talking well you know who he is but not, not everybody else does but uh, <laughs> we were talking about we were talking about different training styles and i was telling about brandon curry's training style because he believes in kind of dropping the weight and then catching it and springing back through it uh. which he said, interestingly enough, is still going to cause the same amount of muscular damage at the end of the day as the slow eccentric. He explains it all. I'm not even going to bother trying to explain it. You guys yeah. want to watch it? You'd be like, if less time under tension, less eccentric loading would be the less. There's a reason. There's listen. There's a reason why he explained it. It was very thorough. And Can you give a brief description? No, I'm not even going to try and butcher it. You guys just got to okay. watch the podcast. All I know is, <laughs> basically, at the end of the day, he's just trying to get views from us. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not. It was actually. No, because we're talking about this exact thing right now. 
because when me and Brandon trained, we remember Nick, we did the podcast. We kind of had a little debate about training and Brandon doesn't believe in slow eccentrics. He thinks it, it requires the muscle, the same amount of force to slow it down and change direction it, as it does going slow all the way through. You're still, you're still going to get the same amount of force in the muscle. There's so, other benefits to controlling the negative. In my opinion, I, I totally agree. I get it. But the main benefit, which is what Christian was talking about today, which is what I said to him was the fucking pain. Because yeah. when me and Brandon trained legs after that podcast, we're cheering for us. Like, I decided yeah. to do, I decided to do what he was doing. I'm like, I'll try it out. And I, I did, I did the whole workout with that rep speed that he uses, but fuck my knees the next day. It felt like somebody took a hammer to him and just like beat the fuck out of him because it's all on your joint and on the tendon. Cause you're just catching yeah. that weight. Yeah. So that, that, that way you're talking about Ian, the change of direction. That's why I always tell people to fucking control the end ranges. That's really the biggest thing. It's like really con true. control your changes of direction. It's fucking. Yeah. Uh, and not to get views in Christian, actually listen, honest to God, I'm going to actually probably break up the podcast into like three different segments because he talked about like three, we talked about like three different things. He's really, really like good at explaining things to he's a smart guy. Just, yeah, it was very, very valuable. So uh, I can't wait for that to come out, but it was interesting because the more we talked about stuff, we talked about low volume, high volume. You know, we've talked about stuff that me and you have. What, what's his opinion on high and low volume? Dude, his opinion is basically it's the same. He's like, it is the fucking same. He's like, it's your <laughs> prep because he's basically saying, so like Ian says, for example, doing less volume and going up to a top set is going to get more weight with more weight uh, for one failure set. And you're going to get more out of it. Whereas when uh, Christian's talking about it, he's saying those first sets are not useless. He basically says that, let's say you're doing a set of 15. Let's say you start to get tired and slow down at 10 reps. You're not working the muscle only when you hit failure. You're working the muscle as soon as the muscle starts to slow down. Sure. So if you're doing four sets and you're doing 10 to 15, and on the first two sets, you stop at 12, instead of going to failure, you're still getting two good, two good reps out of those sets, right? Like you're still valuable sets. And he said they're valuable for a number of other reasons too, which you'll have to watch the podcast, but um, he said they're not useless and that volume still matters. And you're still going to get to that failure set the same way Ian would, but you're getting extra work before that. But then you're working with a lighter load at that top set because it doesn't matter. He basically says there are three factors to muscle growth. And you're still getting it, a failure set is a failure set. As long as the tension is progressively overloading each week. So he's still saying you got to progressively overload, but he's saying whether I do a set of dumbbell. So look your way, Ian, because I'm doing feeders and not doing high volume, I might get to my fourth set and do 200 pound dumbbells. Right. And because I'm doing 10 to 15 all the way through, I might get to my fourth set and only do one sixties but my failure set is still going to be the same as yours. You're just using more weight, but I've got all this extra volume beforehand. Sure. So if we're also talking about being progressive and, and progressing from week to week, yeah. you're talking about doing 10 to 15 reps where you're expending energy and it's hard to quantify how much energy you've spent leading up to that top set. Oh, so leading week to week, I mean, okay, 10 to 15, that's a big disparity, five reps. I did that's, 10. It's not hard. If I do 80 pound dumbbells, the week before sure. I do 80, hundred, 120, 140. Sure. Right. And, and the next week I, in the next week and, and I do 12 reps and the next week I do 85 for 12 reps. How's that sure. any different? Any different what I'm saying is for us, for me personally, if I'm, if I'm building up in weight, those build up reps, I don't expend any energy. So I know when I get to that top weight, that's fine. Right, just, yeah. Just follow. Yeah. Listen to me. Yeah. I don't expend any energy. So I know when I get to that top weight, it's going to be the same every time. If I did 10 to 15 reps building up, getting to that top weight, I may or may not have the same amount of output as I do if I didn't waste any energy. But you're measuring only the final set. He's measuring all of them. So sure, but he also doesn't says, you're only measuring one set. You're only right. measuring one set. What's the so difference between measuring one set? That's easier, that's easier to quantify my progress within one set. No one's trying to saying. change your opinion. And, no, he's, not, and he's, not, and he's not trying to change anybody's opinion. He's saying... It's whatever is more valuable to the person, but he's also saying that 
if we are going to say what's more valuable for a beginner, he would say that a volume <laughs> approach is more valuable to a beginner. I think most of us would agree. That. I can see that. I would. Yeah, agree. I can see that. Okay, but and, the problem, but the problem with say. this podcast, but the problem with this podcast is I see a number of beginners or early intermediates watching yeah. and listening to you and to Ian and to Ben and going and doing this low volume shit when they haven't learned the neurological connection. And we've also of the always stated on this in in this podcast as well that we think for someone that doesn't know necessarily how to go to true failure and push those sets to the, their true value, that a higher volume, lower intensity approach will be better for them. We've all yeah, absolutely agreed. Okay, so my only, my only point to Justin is I can measure four sets the same way I can measure one set. Sure. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't change anything. Yeah. I'm just, I, no, no, no. no. If, I, if I do higher volume, I'm not going <laughs> to do a wide rep range of 10 to 15. I'm going to pick one number. And yeah, right. yeah. You yeah. know, you did tens all the way up. I was, yeah. just, using, I'll do that I was just using 10 to 15 as an example. I'm okay. just saying, okay. right. Yeah. Like we all do that. We all go, okay, I'm going to, when I start lay down for the dumbbell press, I'm like, okay, I'm doing sets. <laughs> I'm doing sets of 10 till I can't do 10 right. anymore. Right. Yeah. So I'm going to go mm -hmm. 80 for 10. 100 for 10, 120 for 10, 140 for 10. But I'm going to do that every week so I can still progressively overload. Let's I think Justin's cut out. Yeah, I think so. Nick, All are right. you freezing? I, see I think I'm choking. Am I freezing? My back? Yeah, you're, you're, back. Right. you're back. Yeah, go you're ahead. Right. I'll, do, I'll do that for, for a lot of stuff, like side laterals. I'm not like doing a double on side laterals. I'm, I'll do tens all the way up. Or like tricep pushdowns, something sure. like that. Arm you know? stuff, I, do that I guess, I guess what but, I'm trying, I guess what was very interesting about the podcast today is for all the debates we've had on here, Christian basically explained that preference matters more than anything else. Which, so which, pre I, he, I he basically, came, he basically <laughs> knocked out a few important rules, preference, hard training, and like kind of leaving it all on the table and yeah, doing, and doing and doing what's right for you, like with exercise selection, which we got into a little bit, but. Yeah, no, I mean, I think this extends to, to like, when people ask, like, you know, we get the question all the time, what's your split? What's your split? Well, we got into that split, too. Yeah. A split is this, is, is what is, you can follow the best at the, the highest level. You know, if me doing chest biceps, this, and you find, okay, if I do chest first, I can't train biceps hard well after, well, then maybe that's not the right split for you. Maybe yeah. you should just do chest on its own, or maybe you should do arms together, whatever, you know what, it's, you know, but I think the best split is the split that you can follow and succeed in the best, not what my split is, you know? Yeah. I just, listen, I don't, I don't want to get into the whole debate again. Cause I don't even, now that I've gone through this podcast with him, I don't even think it's a fucking debate. The, the most interesting point of all of it is, and it's just the way we talk about bodybuilders, right? We talk about Dorian Yates. We talk about Dorian Yates, and then we talk about we talk about Jay Cutler, 100%. and they both have two totally different training styles. Yeah. So the most important thing I learned today was there is no fucking best. No, I mean, look, and I built the first ten years of my career. I built it doing high volume training and doing yeah. you know just the style you just explained. You yeah. know, until 2016, 17, I didn't really you know get into this style. But it's important to note that to people because I remember there was a guy that asked you on your page something about, do you think Fuad's training style, blah, blah, blah. And you said, I think the first few sets are wasteful. So that might be true for you now. But I think for a beginner coming up, they need to understand. And this is you what also Christian, my Q&As are to be. No, no, no. I know. But this, this, I know. But this is why this is what Christian was expressing is a beginner or early intermediate doesn't really have a mind muscle connection to do what you and Justin are doing. I will say right. those yeah. build-up sets are a great opportunity to establish. And that's what he says. He says connection. those, yeah, yeah. he says doing sets of 10 will oh. give you a chance to get that my muscle connection home, so good. Yeah. Own execution to learn yeah. how to do the movement. Well, yeah, and if, look, and if you're going and just doing sub <laughs> sub-minimal sets, sub-maximal sets, and oh. then, you know, when you work at this highest set and your form and your, like everything isn't pinned All down, down. down, you're yeah. just going to be fucking getting sloppy as hell under this crazy weight. You're going to build that pattern. That's not a good thing. You want to have your movement patterns down 120% before you engage in this kind of yeah. training. The other, the other really valuable thing I learned today was just, and I kind of knew this already. I just didn't really know the science behind it, but that not only the failure sets are muscle building sets, any set that is taxing that requires when the muscle starts to slow down and break down sure. is a working set. That's how Christian defines it. I so know like a lot if, of guys do like a reps and reserve style of training yeah that's pretty much what we're saying right and that's i think that's kind of what i did 
<laughs> I just don't, I don't enjoy that. So then it comes back to preference. Yeah, like, yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't prefer really to quantify the exact rep of where things start slowing down. Like, I don't well, really easily. I mean, let's say you're doing okay. Well, there's no, I mean, I don't know if there's a scientific. Like, can you exact imagine way. like you hit a hack squat, you're like, oh, that one slowed down, better call it. No, yeah. no, listen, I would every, hate them. No, no, you're still doing okay. You're still doing sets of 10 or 12. Let's say you're doing sets of 10, right? And I'm doing bench press and I do well, one plate. Of, sorry, just, let, just hear me out for a second. They're doing one plate, two plate, three plate, four plate, maybe five plate. See, but I, I don't think that doing a set of 10 with one plate has any muscle building potential whatsoever. No, it doesn't. It's a warm up. That's not called a working set. I'm still not slowing down, wasted energy. That's not a working set either. It's but I'm a, doing 10 reps where in my style, I would but do he's saying there's other, But he's saying there's other value to it, right? For beginners, like we're saying, is building okay, your sure. logical I'm connection, not, learning, learning recovery, like helping your body with recovery, helping your muscle with endurance. He's like, there's a number of other benefits to doing 10 reps per set. So it's not just about what is going to build the most muscle. Sometimes there's other reasons why you might do that. Well, this, so, is, this, is, a, this is a person to person thing for sure. Yeah. Well, no, it's a, I think it's a beginner to expert thing, right? Uh, yeah, I agree. No, because a lot of guys will be beginners and still have a more understanding than others. So it, it does depend. Kamal, Kamal a, trains high volume, but he, I think he trains a little reps in reserve. Well, I think anybody who trains high volume trains reps in reserve. Cause if you let me finish, if you're going from the one plate to five plate scenario, <laughs> right? One and two plates, you're not slowing down at 10. When you get to three plates, maybe at eight reps, you're slowing down at nine and 10. If you get to four plates, maybe you're slowing down at six, but you're not failing at 10. When you get to five plates, maybe 10 is the fucking, you're done. So three and four still count as working sets. Yeah, see, to me, in my head, that math doesn't work at all. But I Why, I why, it. why, why? Because if you failed, if doing 10 reps with five plates or with four plates is even remotely hard for you, there's no chance you can bench five for 10. Not even close. <laughs> Okay, well, change change the fucking bad numbers. Yeah, 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 that's why I said it. Go from four plates to four twenty-five, right? <laughs> yes. Like it doesn't. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Like yes, yeah. just the buildup of sets, you can still get tired and not be failing. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. Look, I understand it completely. So all I'm saying is, I didn't really know how to how to label those sets, and he's saying if they are taxing in any way to the point where it's slowing you down, they count as working sets. You're building muscle during those sets. I will say that I'm in a place where like neurologically, I'm able to get more out of one working set yeah. than someone else. I've been in training sessions with somebody where I do one, I say, you should just do another. I would do another. If I were yeah. you, I'd do another. Me, yeah. I'm yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, anyway sure uh, you, you and Mark, there might be some disparity there where you might, you might be able to get more out of a set than a Mark would. Yeah. Okay. So I, I pushed my other podcast enough. Now we can move on. <laughs> We're all going to go watch it now. <laughs> Listen, honestly, I honestly, God, this is just, I'll even, I should even turn off the monetization for it. I honestly, <laughs> wait, once this video drops at about two hours in, let's see what the view count on your Christian video does. Well, no, that one will be up after. That oh. one will be up after. So it won't be up first. Oh, no, this, I just this is the pro promo to promote. No, it. <laughs> this is a promo. <laughs> <are> such assholes. <laughs> Listen, the title of this video is going to be "Go Watch My Christian Tibido Video." <laughs> you guys know I'm always trying to fucking teach people shit. I just feel like that fucking podcast taught me a lot. It could help a lot of people. That's all I'm trying. Fuck you guys. And then you get mad I, at me trying look, to look, teach. Fuad, Fuad, I'm yes. going to watch the podcast. I know you will. Thank you, Nick. You see now I'm smiling and laughing at how much less lines I have. This is amazing. Nice, nice right? right? Dude, my forehead look. I mean, this is this is a big improvement. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my, my I look head, head head and worse you don't look any different. You don't look any different. Oh, bullshit. You don't. And Ian, you don't look any different either. Except I look, you look like an 80. I look like a dad. I have a picture of me when I got it done. <laughs> Can I show I it? I'm going to get both <laughs> You want to go I get it? <laughs> <laughs> the picture you took me was really bad. Yeah, Can I show we'll, it? We'll go get it to yeah. your birthday on Saturday. <laughs> Let's do it. I had like bee stings all over my forehead. Oh yeah. Can I show it? I don't care. I don't give a shit. It's such a bad photo. I had the same photo. You can't see. Come on. That's out of focus. I look I look like I have Down syndrome. Yeah, there it is. You can't see the, the bees. You can't really see it. Yeah, but I still look retarded. Oh, excuse me. I look um you can't yeah, say that. Look uneducated. <laughs> look uneducated. Can't say retarded. Yeah, like mentally impaired, yeah. 
I look okay. uneducated. <laughs> um, do you think insulin affects ability to get really grainy look if you use to fill up during peak week? Um, I've never done it during a peak week, so I don't know. Yeah, neither have I. I have I don't a couple think- times. Oh, look here. oh my god. Oh, oh. <laughs> god damn. <laughs> look at you, mongoloid. The way that way that angle that looked like your forehead. You, you mongoloid. Like, <laughs> you look like Beavis. What yeah. the fuck? Your you, and your face. Why does your face look so short? What happened to your face? Well, it's just because I'm holding the camera, but oh, okay. But yeah, damn. no, I got a lot, man. I got a lot, a lot. Yeah, I'm really sorry for calling you that. That's rude. That's okay. why we would call him a mongoloid. <laughs> yeah. Why is that rude? <laughs> look baby. He froze. And he freezes uh, like that. Now, now he looks like the fucking bomb boy. Look at this guy. <laughs> yeah, you he froze. froze again. You got to stay in the kitchen, man. I know. I'm sorry. My wife is out there, and you know, you never know when we're gonna, you know, talk about her sucking my dick. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What were you just showing us, boy? I was showing you Justin's face. Oh, no, I thought you said or asked another question or something. Oh, I did. I asked if insulin, the, the guy asked if insulin oh, yeah. affects your look on stage. I've never used graininess. it. The only time I ever used it to load for a show was 2015 with Dennis James after we did my pro debut and I was low on the small side. So we just wanted to be like fucking gigantic for Toronto Pro. And I used it. I obviously was not as sharp, but I came up 15 pounds in four weeks. So like, obviously that's going to happen. I carb loaded probably twice with it. I think maybe three times, but twice. And the only time it worked really well is I was extremely depleted. Yeah. I just don't think it's necessary. Like you can start loading just a day earlier, two days earlier. Like if the show's on Saturday, don't start on Thursday, start on Wednesday. I don't think it's necessary either, but you know how it is. Some coaches do different things. I think we, like we always talk about, the easiest thing to do is just be ready fucking early and then you can eat up to the show. and, And take more time to build that base of, glycogen and carbohydrates i mean like if you're if in two days you're still just burning through it okay we'll add a third day maybe a third day will be enough you know to get why, to maybe add some more fats you, you know, know why like, i think some coaches do it i think some coaches deplete you for so long that if you don't do it you're not going to load in time you know, what, what's the point of this like hard depletion like i'm just it's an old school yeah. thing to do right like it, this is like back in the day you used to cheat deplete cheat deplete right this whole fucking thing so i think when you're depleted for weeks on end you, you might need that bump to fucking yeah. get you to fill out properly but you also might be so depleted at that point that you could probably take five days slowly progressively build up carbs listen i'm not pro- i'm not promoting it anyway i I'm, my best prep was when nothing exciting happened yeah do instead yeah. of doing you know insulin at a thousand grams a day for two days of carbs maybe just do 400 grams a day for four or five days you know yeah yeah add a little more fats in there take it a little slower keep your water in, keep a your water in with control carbs. A lot of what guys do too is they'll fucking load up the carbs like this at almost the same time that they're starting to mitigate water and sodium. Oh, in yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like that's the shoot the carbs in, but then cut a bit of water and cut a bit of sodium. Well, no shit, you're gonna need fucking ten million grams of carbs. You know, that's the most important thing that Justin said is to have control. Yeah, because if you if you start fucking with sodium and water and insulin and thousand grams of carbs, you all, your, all your control has gone out the fucking you window. As many. You, all your factors to be as simple and controllable as possible. The less that's, things that you have to manipulate, the better, you know? That's why I said being ready early allows you to just load lightly yeah. and yeah. walk on stage. That's literally what I did for Vancouver. It's the smallest amount of fucking diuretics, if at all. Yep. And the easiest load because you're not depleted enough that you have to fucking go crazy with the carbs. And you're not and pushing just, it so that you're out of any excess water or your stomach is bloated from pushing in crazy amounts of food. You know, <laughs> or you're having digestive distress, you're fucking shitting your pants all the time or, you know, yeah. gassy and bloated from all the food. Like, just be ready. That happened to me. That happened to me at two fucking Arnold's. You know that? I, I've had it happen At before. two separate Arnold's, I loaded with food that I hadn't dieted with. Uh, and I just, I remember, I remember one specific one. I think it was 2012. I specifically, I have a fucking photo of it, actually. I was hunched over a chair. Like, I had my hands on the chair, kind of leaning over it. Your stomach was just killing me. And my you. stomach was, like, out to here. And all I had to do, I just wanted to fart for, like, 30 yeah. minutes. Yeah. And I'm like, and I couldn't. And I went on stage like that. And I was like, fuck, man. The question, is this a big so to introduce things at that point? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Have, is this just an anxiety-related thing, or am I the only one? When I'm backstage, trunks on, ready to pump up, then I feel like I have to fart or take a shit. <laughs> yeah, I, I have no, I have to pee a lot. See, Do you? I, 
I usually don't feel pee, but I feel like, fuck, like, I feel like I have to get a fart out, get a, get a shit out. I'm like, I don't have time now, you know? I know what Nick's talking about. You're like, you feel like you have to pee, then you just go dribble. Yeah, yeah it's like a little, little, it's like, oh, I got to pee. And it's like, I'm pumping up. I'm like, fuck, I think I got to pee. Our prostates are the size of fucking cantaloupes by that point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, fuck, it's 10 after 10. Yeah. All right, we're gonna, we should go. Well, Justin hasn't been here for two hours yet because he was late. So got three more minutes and then it's been two hours. So ask one more question. Yeah, that's good. Uh, would you rather have to lift exclusively during peak hours at Alpha Land and win five Olympias or lift at your gym of your choice but only win one Olympia and oh. play second four times? Well, I think the tra- I think we all love the training aspect of things. So like, you're talking about five years of training where you don't want to – he was, making a good, he was making a good point before he cut out. Why, why this is even more preposterous is because the gym where you stand. Out. Out. Right? <laughs> so angry. <laughs> I know you, you were going somewhere good with it. Finish your thought. Go ahead. I don't know where I cut out. You were going okay. where you were like, we all love right training, but. What I'm saying is I know we all love the training aspect of things. Yeah. So to spend five fucking years training somewhere you hate would yeah. suck. I mean, and also the question, the question is completely preposterous because you would never win any Olympias training at Alpha Land. <laughs> You're going to get a lot. <laughs> now he's offended at a whole other group. <laughs> well, I mean, no, but like think, think if any of us went and tried to train in an Alpha Land every day. Yeah, We'd literally get nothing done ever. Nick yeah. would be taking photos for fucking four hours a day in the, in the gym. He, he was. He was when we went there, man. Every time yeah. he was on a set, there was somebody waiting there. Me too. Me yeah. too. When went yeah. There. You know, you literally would never get anything done uh okay let's do one more what's the one thing you would love to learn to master i want to be really good at playing uh the drums i want to play the piano uh, or the piano anything like the drums, my, piano, or guitar just, i want to learn you just take my guitar. <laughs> you just bring it upon yourself eh? Come on, dude. i try i defend you so much that's, you know? I could ne- that's one thing i could never do that would what? be impressive as a motherfucker, though. If this guy could just like. <laughs> there's yeah. one thing you could never do: what? Play piano. I can play the piano. I'm sure there's somebody with nubs that I plays the piano. Don't, hey, don't don't put those limitations on yourself. Yeah. Okay, like this. <laughs> <laughs> you see, listen, you're such what? an asshole. People message me and they make jokes about your fingers, and I delete the fuck. I don't respond because I'm like, <laughs> I know. don't be I mean to Justin. I can and make then jokes. You about fucking my- bring it up, and then I got to defend you. I know he can do it. It's his own. It's his own hand. I know, but I everybody else wants to do it now. People need to. People need to understand fucking boundaries. There okay, is none. here's this. This is the the deal we'll make. If you go and sever, cut off a few of your fingers, you're allowed to have this conversation in any matter you want with Justin. Sure. Yeah. Okay, Otherwise, deal. go fuck yourselves. <laughs> God Nick, damn it! Am I just I, cutting out? Imagine someone goes and cuts off like a couple, two or three of their fingers. They're Just like, so they can make fun of Justin. Now I can do it, motherfucker. <laughs> Dude, we're homies now, bro. <laughs> Nick, what's one thing you want to master? I always wanted to play the guitar. Yeah. We're all <laughs> the same then, eh? I want to master racing cars. That's cool. But I do have a drum set that I want to. Hey, what are you laughing at, you cock? Me? Yeah. Oh, just, yeah, just you and your masculine. <laughs> what is it with you and your fairy fucking shit? I want to play the piano. Why are you such a car driver? <laughs> Dude, playing the I piano. Used to... <laughs> what is it with you uh, being against piano, masculine man. shit? Yo, but no, it's pretty I'm badass, not, though. You. Yo, when you can play the piano and, like, you know, you see those videos where someone, like, sits down those public, like, airport pianos. Oh, yeah. dude. And they just fucking kill it, and everyone's like standing around. Yo, if you can fucking drive, kill it on the piano, and you go in public and just kill it on a piano, that's fucking awesome. Yeah, it's pretty gangster. Yeah, especially yeah, if you look like one of us. If you look like one of us and then do that, that's even more fucking. Justin cool. would be and proud don't of me. Have if, fingers. And, Justin and don't would have be, fucking three fingers. Justin would be proud of me if I said I wanted to be a, like a fucking a, dance, a dancer or a ballerina or some shit. Yeah, 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 yeah I would. Yeah. Would you? You want me to just to say like? Fucking, I want to be a hip hop dancer. You want me to say feminine, <laughs> feminine shit from now on? Does that make you happy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have, actually, yeah, I think so. Okay. You know, I used to play the violin. From now on, whenever we answer anything, I will find the most feminine answer who I can find. To learn, who I'd want to learn how to figure skate. Yes, that's exactly. That would be it. good. Hey, figure skating's dope. It is dope. It would be or pretty cool. To do like, I thoroughly, I thoroughly enjoy ice skating or rhythmic gymnastics. Can you, you know, ice skate? Throw the fucking twirl around. I can ice skate, yeah. Oh yeah, the ribbon. Yeah. 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 Wait a minute, Nick. Can you ice skate? Can I skate? When was the no, last time I ice skated? Can't. Last year. No, you didn't. I might skate. Is there, I is there a video of this somewhere? No, no, no. I, no. I you haven't ice skated recently, Fuad? I haven't ice skated in fucking 
10 years at least. You live in Canada, man. There's no place to ice skate. There is. I just don't go. Oh. I'd be blazing around that bitch backwards, just like <laughs> you can't ice skate. Oh, yeah, I could for sure. No doubt. This guy wrote now. BMX. Obviously, yeah. he knows how to ice skate. This motherfucker yeah, can. can't do anything anymore. He weighs 270 pounds. Yeah, but once I you do. know how to ice skate, you always know how to ice skate. Yeah, I yeah, got your he's gonna ice skate on his ankles for sure. <laughs> no, I'm going. Yeah. Okay, I'm coming to Canada and we're going ice skating. Okay. Yo, Melissa is a crazy. Melissa was like a competitive figure skater. She fucks me up. No way. Really? Oh, that's, that's so bad that's bad yeah, so Look at this guy. Now Justin's more in love with you. No well, way. That's cool. No He's way. Really? That's okay. Hey, I'm just supporting my friend. But look at you. You're being so <laughs> negative about it. Yeah. The fuck. Yeah. Ice you skating. Not, not support my wife's figure skating. I yeah. love the the love story between you and Ian. It's just incredible. <laughs> it's good, but also figure skating is pretty badass. Yeah. No. Not really. Yo, if you can do like a fucking quad fucking Lutz or something, you're pretty cool, you know? Yeah. Or like, it's remember impressive, when that, like, but I, it's not cool. Remember when that like Scott I think guy, was... the guy used to do the backflips on the skates? Yeah, that's pretty sweet. That's pretty badass, yeah. yeah. Well, I used to, I was actually really good at playing the violin growing up. Everything you say is so fucking, I can't say it. I can't tell if he's serious. Talking again? No, I can hear you. You're saying very feminine shit. Did you hear what I said? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you were good at the violin. Something about wearing a tampon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something about you put tampons. Yeah, in your I would butt? wear a tampon and then play the violin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I lost my fingers and it was all taken from me. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. Do you still wear the tampon? Yeah, yeah. No, I can still do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. All right, boys. All right. I'll see you this weekend. Yeah, let's go. Right. Right. Okay, right. bye. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share with your friends, and like the video. And if you get a chance, check out the description for all the different links to all the different places you can find Hostile and myself. And lastly, check out Hostile.com for our new line of supplements and all of our apparel and gear. Thanks again for watching.